Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, that... Was that the best place to save? Did we load an autosave? No? I, I guess not. Uh, we're starting this one in medias res with lots of biters and I'm totally disoriented. All right, cool, great, wonderful, fantastic. Uh, let's continue. Hey, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. And I guess we are cleaning up the biters. Where is this? North. Oh yeah, that's right. They were absolutely destroying our north wall. It turns out uh, we need stronger defenses. The hour is later than I realized. Nightfire. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, well, that woke me up a little bit. We've still got a million defenders. Fantastic. Walls are getting damaged still. Yeah, I need to... I need to clear out a certain distance from that wall and hurry back to it. Or probably hurry back to it right now and then maybe come back here. Where is this coming from? I think that was a retaliation for me attacking that base. Time for some city blocks? Definitely. That's what we'll be focusing on this, uh, this session, I think. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Looks like the biters have finished splashing up against this wall. Not exactly splashing up against this wall and dying, but more like chewing it apart from the side and slowly dying. A bit of attrition going on there. Um, but yeah, we need to... Oh no, there's regenerative biters. Actually, I don't see any nests for regenerative biters here. Are they regenerative? Yeah, they are. This is odd. Why did I just place a power pole? Because my muscle memory was telling me that 3 is the button for defender capsules. You know what? Let's make it the button for defender capsules. That's one way to solve that problem. Did I just pick up a power pole or something else? I think the power pole got destroyed. Rip. Uh, let's get another eight defender capsules in motion. Mo Mr. Monty Ponty, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello everyone, good morning all. Hello to you as well. Hope you're having a good day. Alright, so probably I might get that uh, fast biters and I guess those are regenerative biters, unless it's default biters that we haven't seen transform yet. Um, a little bit to the northeast. And then hopefully we've got some breathing room to fix up our defensive walls. And hopefully massively reduce the throughput of biters that are coming to pay it a visit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, because I think it was just proximity. Um, there's definitely no pollution here. I think it was just triggered by Rampant's proximity rules, the attacks. Oh, these ones do give us the uh, spit on the ground that we have to avoid, I think. That's interesting. Let me just fly over some, I want to confirm. Oh, it doesn't stay on the ground very long. Okay, is it just a graphic? It doesn't seem to hurt. Well, okay, that kind of ruins the test. Can we have some more defenders? Fantastic.
And up we go. Alright, it's all just fast fighters. That'll be pretty easy to kill. Daka Daka. How can I power a small ice planet? Waterless, solar 22%. Um, either way too many solar panels. I'm guessing you don't have energy beaming, otherwise that would be the answer at that point. Or uh, probably condenser turbines, to be honest. You won't have to supply a whole lot of water for that. The rate that condenser turbines consume water is very low. Should I get this one as well? We've got defenders up. Let's try it. Oh, and we've completed all of our research for now. We'll have a look at that just as soon as I clear this base. Oh, um, there's also... What are they called? Uh, do we have that research yet? Uh, is it a K2 thing? The burner turbine generators are definitely a K2 thing. They're not very efficient, but they produce a lot of... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That was stupid. Okay. 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 It's fine. This is fine. Something, something overconfidence. Indeed. Palem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They eat a ton of coal. Yeah, they don't give you a whole lot for the fuel that you put in. Um, there was also, I don't know if it's vanilla, like, non-K2 SE or not, or whether it was added in 0.6 or something. Um, but there's, I think it probably is, because... On the menu screen for Space Exploration 0.6, uh, it shows a ship that uses them. Um, unless K2 did that, somehow. Uh, but there's, like, generators that just confume, uh, consume liquid fuel. I don't know if those are more efficient, or if that would be easier somehow. But I would probably go for condenser turbines, I would imagine. I'll probably be using those fuel generators in early spaceships. Maybe. Now that I think of it, if we're just using liquid rocket fuel to get around, we can probably get away with just solar panels. With nuke? Uh, yeah, that's one option. Gas burner from K2. Oh, it is from K2? Alright then. Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What a strange Oni mod. Oh no. Let's fix that. There we go. That is a rather large nest. Gas burner me? I check that? Wait, what? I'm not sure I understand. They're easy enough to kill, we just have to get the right balance of DPS and safety here. Try and keep the defenders in range to fire all the time without losing them.
and don't underestimate the swarms of tiny ones. How much fuel do I have? Lots. Fantastic. Defenders. I'm surprised they're still this good, honestly. We won't be able to... We, we won't be able to use defenders very effectively for much longer. We'll have to upgrade to, like, destroyer capsules, I guess. Round and round and round we go. Something's getting damaged. And... Lots of things are getting destroyed, actually. That's not... Good, I can't really look at the map right now. Hurry up. Finish it. Alright. Uh, where is this happening? Alright, it's our front wall still. That's actually about what I expected and the least bad bit of information. Microbiters, indeed. Larius, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bioethanol with the gas burner is nice if you have water. If you have water. Alright. Um, so I want to go back and get a whole lot of walls, both ty uh, types of turrets, conveyor belts, uh, yellow inserters, substations... Oh, I've got some of those things. I've got all of those things, actually, as far as I know. Um, so let's swap this out for bots. Of which I only have 14 in my inventory, but... What's our maximum? 20? Oh, 40, actually. Where did my bots go? We're going to bottleneck on recharging the bots anyway. Unless we pick them up every single time. So I'm not too worried about the bot count. Let's ride... the conveyor belt. And in the meantime, I'll have a look at the map. So this wall is doing, I was going to say doing just fine, but apparently, oh, how did this happen? Do they have saboteur biters? What is this? It, it doesn't look like it was a media. We've got like, a f seriously? That was fast. Uh, I should move this. I've got a spare... Uh, I've got a spare thruster suit somewhere. Rip indeed. I, I can't believe that happened so quickly. Especially after I just cleared this. There should have been... These are actually purples. Okay, it was probably like a counter-attack. A, a, a revenge attack from one of the nearby bases. Alright. Um, thruster suit? Civil play? 
Oh, I can't search this here. What am I doing? Personal logistics on. Actually, I wish I could set it to just the thruster suit. Let's save this. And remove everything else. And then we can turn on, oops, turn on our personal logistics without the bots exhausting themselves. Alright, so that's our thruster suit. We've got the jetpacks. Um, I should take destroyer capsules, which I guess I could have requested. Are they in a passive? Yeah, they are. 450 will be enough. And let's get ourselves some fuel. And away we go, I guess. There's our rail box again. I did briefly toy with the idea of trying to do a hexagon rail grid, uh, rail grid this time, which would be cool, but uh, there is one slight problem with it, other than the fact that it's hard to make a good hexagon grid small-ish. Um, and that is, I'm using snap to grid absolute specifically because uh, space elevators. I want a space elevator to fit neatly in the middle of uh, a rail block, both in space and on the ground. Uh, I guess I could probably have like two separate but identical um, blueprints for the hexagonal uh, rail blocks. Uh-oh. Uh, each with different offsets. That might work. Where's my corpsicle? Here we go. Can I do it this way? That should be fine. And we didn't pick everything up for some reason. What's going on? Inventory is too full, actually. Alright. Uh, do we have construction bots, or did we lose them all? Oh, don't tell me, they're flying back home. Oh, no. I mean, they may have all died. Considering how quickly we got overrun, that wouldn't be that surprising. Okay, so do I stay here and manually rebuild what we've got? Expecting that the attacks should stop? But wanting to have a wall here of some kind before we go back to get stuff to reinforce it? I don't want to have to manually rebuild all this, but... It's either that, or it, it took like a minute to get here and back, right? Let's let's just go back and get construction bots. And I should get some flamethrower turrets as well. We don't have, uh, we do have oil up there. Is light oil still best for ammo? I don't really want to go to the trouble of processing it, though. Ooh, I wonder if pyroflux is best for ammo. That wouldn't be too surprising. Where are we? Almost back.
Relentless? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's rampant for you. Like, I, I beat them back as far as I did because they're attacking due to proximity. But my attacking them triggered counterattacks. Um, let's get our... Stuff back here. That's way more electric mining drills than I need to carry for the moment. Um, I'll say the same about most of this stuff. Where did I put those just now? Oh, those are med packs? Uh, sure. And then get out of here. Get. I might want extra power poles actually. Uh, we got turrets, we got laser turrets. Where were we automating the laser turrets? Did I belt them or did I just get the auto crafter to do them? Auto crafter would probably make sense. What do we make this out of? Oh no, I remember trying to belt this. So it's up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of quartz. Alright, that's a lot of laser turrets. Uh, it'll probably make sense to just use the auto crafter for flamethrower turret. Let's do that. And make sure we have a hundred. That didn't take long. Let's speed it up a bit. Uh, do we have any speed modules just lying around? I don't think so. I know where to get some. And if I get small electric and circuits, I can upgrade them easily. Alright, where's our auto crafter? Here it is. Flamethrower ammo changes the damage? Oh yeah. Uh, I think I can demonstrate it here. Which I just remembered I have available. So it takes four times of uh, four kinds of ammo. Uh, we're gonna go pyroflux, crude, uh, light, and the other one was heavy. So it's anything but petroleum, basically, as far as we're thinking of oil. Let's see. Damage. Why does it go off the screen? 90 plus 1.81k per second fire? There's f oh, damage modifier. There it is. So they all say the same amount of damage down the bottom. Lifetime, 2 seconds. Oh, I accidentally put in petroleum here. Uh, that should have been, what, heavy? Heavy, uh, fluid damage multiplier, 100% for crude, 105 for heavy, 110 for light, and 120 for pyroflux. Hey, Zura. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We only have four flamethrower turrets right now. Let's fix that. Once we finish handcrafting another speed module. I think I could add speed modules to the list here as well. But I need to make sure we do the prere... No, we've already made the prerequisites with belts. That's 1k playtime for me, still learning, indeed. Relatable. Uh, yeah, so it's switched over to... It 
switched over to the speed modules. I'm not terribly surprised by that. Let's save the bots a trip or two. That'll be more than enough to give us 50 speed twos. Um, I think I would like them to procrastinate this recipe for now, though. Let's just turn that constant combinator off for the moment. How many flamethrower turrets? I'm thinking probably one per substation would be reasonable. I can't see the range of it very well here. If I place it and go to the map with turret range on, uh, it's a little bit better, but it, not when we're placing ghosts. If I do... let's see. Flamethrower turret. Oh, we've got all the turret range here because it's media point defenses. Over here. Yeah, if I actually place that, it's easy to see, but while we're just planning it, not so much. How many tiles ahead does it... It's like four tiles where it can't hit. That's like nothing as far as we're concerned right now. All right, so I'm thinking... Yeah, flamethrower turret right next to each of the substations. And if we want to be super sensible, we should probably not make it dependent on each flamethrower turret existing. In which case, I could put it there. There's no way I can, like, make a repeating pattern where we don't have a little zigzag over here, right? So something like... Like this, maybe? And, and then this would have to be like this. And this would look like this. And... So on. So we're going to need, like, five pipes, four underground pipes per flamethrower turret. And we need to get some pump jacks over here. How many substations do we have here? Uh, 31. So what? 180 something? Uh, 155 plus whatever we need for... Let's call it two stacks at least of pipe. Make it three. And... Three or four stacks of undergrounds. And what was it? 30? 31 substations up there. How many flamethrower turrets do we have? 19 already. Ascendanema, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think if you make a blueprint with the turret, you might see it. Make a blueprint with the turret. Uh, hold on. Blueprint... Where was I? Blueprint the turret. 
I mean, no more clearly than if I was copy pasting it. Make a U turn and underground to the left. U turn and underground to the left. I'm not sure if I understand. I might need more walls. I definitely don't need this many defenders. Um, are we making walls up here somewhere? Not to my knowledge. That's a lot, though. Oh, I lost all of my filtered slots for power armored stuff. Maybe I should put them up the top. I see, thought you see range of turrets on the map view? If they're a part of the blueprint. Nah, no, only if they're placed. I think. Alright, how many flamers? 24. As soon as we get seven more, I'll head out and turn this back on. We probably don't need this much processed fuel right now since I'm not um, flying around attacking biters at long range. And there was some damaged solar panels out there as well. Oh, repair packs. Do I have those? Yes, I do. I should probably make this power connection a bit more redundant. Uh, pump jacks. I definitely haven't automated those yet. Oil pump jack. Make sure we have 40. And this is 28, 29. Two more flamethrower turrets and we'll be ready to go. What, what about our research? What are we looking at? Do we have stuff in orbit? We've run out of something here. Not space belts. Solid rocket fuel? I think we're out of solid rocket fuel, so we've got like, what, 23, 28, 29, 30 more uh, space science left. Baboclus? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I will take some prod modules up there next time as well. Um, let's see. Electronic components, glass, EC. This sounds like a nuisance. Let's grab the rest of those flamethrower turrets. Turn this back on. Get some pump jacks. Fantastic. And I wanted to get it to build productivity modules as well. Hopefully this won't be... Actually, let me put it here so we can switch it off. Hopefully this won't get priority. Just yet. Nope, oh, good, fantastic. How many do we need? Uh, I would like to just tap all of them so I don't have to think about this again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I think. Let's just call that 20 because that's one stack. We're already up to 8. Nice. And I don't think we particularly need fluid storage there, but it certainly wouldn't hurt. Why are there no cargo pods or... Oh, I see. No, that's normal. Alright then. 
I should get some Logibots up there, and then I could actually sort of automate this stuff. Um, I'll take 50 Logibots up to orbit, and maybe get some filter inserters taking from uh, the cargo landing pad up here. And that way I can just send more materials. Oh, we need some requester chests, though. We haven't researched those yet. I've got a precious few of them. Uh, we need utility science packs, which we know how to make now. We need cryonite. Jeez. You don't just have to go to space, you have to go interplanetary before you can get logistic bots, basically. Like, properly. Your flamethrower wall, you could underground to the left. Uh, I mean, I am. I'm undergrounding both ways, unless I just missed something there. It may be a little hard to see. Looks like this. Oh, do you mean like through here? Yeah, I just don't want the, um, like each individual flamethrower turret to be a critical connection point. So if we lose one, every flamethrower down the line uh, gets cut off from ammo. See the range of turrets on the map view, but if they are part of a blueprint. Oh, I thought. Um, there might be another way to see the range that I'm forgetting. Alright, uh, that is our pump jacks. I think we're ready to get going. I could probably stand to take whatever other flamethrower turrets. That would be zero, actually. Zero more flamethrower turrets have been made. Okay. Oh, I forgot to get construction bots, didn't I? Okay. Also, I don't need this extra thruster suit in my inventory. I want exactly one stack of construction bots. Where are they coming from? To the right, I think. Yeah, here we go. Pick up 49. Gimme, gimme. Whoops. What? Uh, okay, sure. Was there anything else? Probably not. In what universe could I possibly forget something else that we need? No universe. Could never happen. You got hit with media in space? Uh-oh. Did I? Oh, I did too. And all it did was scratch these solar panels. That was lucky. Or a little unlucky, but not very, I guess. What are these bots doing? Oh, don't tell me they picked up the trees while I was flying past. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but we have other priorities right now. Could you... Could you, could you please get in my belly? Thank you. Okay, away we go. As our walls get chewed on a little bit more. Now 
not loving the travel time. <laughs> Maybe I should swap out more jetpacks next time. Uh, y yeah, yeah, probably. They've gone past the walls. I saw some down to the south... Uh, southwest a moment ago as well. Where are they? I'm, I'm sure I saw them run past us. Did I not? I... I hope not. I'm surprised they didn't just focus on focus on the wall until it was done. What's all this green? Hopefully, repairing the wall as it was will be enough to hold them off until we build the flamethrower turrets. Oh, crap. Why do they keep coming? We're so far from the pollution cloud. Like, look at this. The nearest base is like... Okay, that's not the purple one. The nearest purple base is over here. That's where they're attacking from? That is aggressive. And they're still sending out like a wave every minute. My construction bots are going to get themselves killed. Thank you, Cliff. Okay. Okay. They're still coming. got to stay on top of it. Pull them away from the box. Have I run out of walls? No, we're good. I have run out of yellow belts, however. could be a problem. I can definitely put red belts instead for the rest of it. Alright, so I think I'm... I think I'm gonna have to build... I don't know. Should I try and build the flamethrower turrets? Probably. Alright, we need red belt upgrade. All the way over here, and here, and here, and here. And more are coming. More biters of Penz's best defense. It is, but it isn't, because Rampant loves to send revenge or counterattacks. Now the burning question is, do I go attack them like this and try to block every attack that's heading for the wall? Or do I try to finish building the wall with 
crude oil flamethrower defenses before they... I think I attack them. I don't know. I'm actually split on this. Do I have cliff explosives? I do. I don't want any cliff explosions to happen right now. Oh, we've got those lovely trees that don't get removed by bots unless we remove them automatically, uh, manually rather. That's not great. Okay, this I do want cliff exploded. What? Oh, they took it right from my hand, literally. I don't think I can buy enough time. I think I have to attack directly. Alright, we're swapping out personal roboports for shields. One jetpack, one laser, one battery. And we want to try and catch every attacking wave on the way there. There's the next one. Nope, this is the next one. Where else? And again. They're not slipping past us, it doesn't look like. I think we're now running into multiple groups. This is getting out of hand fast. Yeah, that's rampant. Alright. And once we attack and clear out these ones, it's going to trigger other counterattacks. I should get that rocket launcher, but I don't really have time right now. Gotta keep them focused on me. I don't want to let any attack waves slip past and actually go to the wall. Something is attacking the wall anyway. Let me sneak a peek at how severe it is. Okay. Fast biters are relatively manageable. Uh, where are they coming from? Up here? I guess? Alright, I'm going to attack this, and then I'm going to attack this, and... And that's a lot of biters. Hmm. There's a sweet spot where the bots are not getting damaged. But we're moving relatively slow so we can shoot everything. The damage that the worms take is as much of a problem as them actually being a threat. Let's get our 
our butt count back up. Fantastic. I see they sent fast fighters over here to try and defend this base as well. the end of that one. Uh, do I go down to attack here as well? I think I do. Oh, that's not great either. Okay. Now, now we're getting to the point where I just can't be everywhere I need to be. When is artillery available? Uh, I think... I could get it next. It's a thousand um, space science, though, so I haven't made it that much of a priority just yet. The range of artillery at first is really not that great either. Solar panels are getting destroyed. Okay. I I can't I can't worry too much about what's happening in other places. I just have to do one thing at a time as quick as I can. Surprised we're not getting hit out of the sky. Really helps that they don't lead the target, I suppose. I think. And I'd better fly back to the wall before hitting the fast biters. For a second, I thought you were talking about flying biters. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no flying biters. You can get those with mods, but Rampant doesn't include them to, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, I think one of the mods that gives you flying biters just uh, borrows some... a unit from ye old StarCraft. Yopo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Well, this nest is nice and easy at least. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're sending more attack waves. Not surprising. Eighty-two? Oh, crap. So we're losing the south wall. I think I'll have to leave the fast biters intact up here until I go fix what's going on down there. Taking some damage just to do this faster. Okay. I think we're losing our defenders. I'm going to rest in the water so that we don't die. This wall actually is holding for the most part. So we've got a little bit of time. Down here is really, really bad. We can't even resupply the ammo automatically. Oh, and they're chewing on our coal mine. Lovely. I'd better get down there before they wreck the oil. We'll do a quick repair of the north wall as it is for the moment. And head straight down to the south. No shields, we have to hurry. Uh, we need some bots. I guess I'll just... No, we do need bots. Robots, go. Hurry up, bots. Do your thing. Where are they? I've got eight. Only eight for some reason in my inventory. Oh, I didn't switch this on. I can't believe I lost 42 uh, robots already this trip. Alright, so now we need to get down south as quickly as possible. Rampant, that is a no for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll be back later. Don't rage delete the save. No, we'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Vasilij Polanski, Jew? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're losing drills, but that's not difficult to replace at this point. Okay. Um, I don't think they went past here. Just some stragglers to clean up along the way. Like this guy. This really needs repairing. And defending. Let's get some shields on. And probably a laser would be good. Thought I saw a little one get up here. Maybe we shot it. Alright, so we got fast and we got spawners coming in. 
Where from, I wonder? Spawners and fast. Fast. Spawners. Uh, that seems to be all the flavors the game wants to throw at me for the moment. So all of these nests are suspect. Uh, I think I saw some common biters as well, so that's them as well. I don't want to spend the time to clear out this much right now. The nests are relatively small, but really what I want is to reinforce these walls. Um, can I handcraft some rail? I actually can. Alright. Uh, Rope pot? How many rails am I missing here? I think one. Two. Could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. Should probably equip a laser. Speaking of lasers, some laser turrets would probably be good. Um, the biters really seem to want to attack this spot in particular quite a lot. Also over here, but that's probably because they finished attacking that spot. There's no ammo? Oh, there's no power. Okay, let's prioritize that. Where's the power connection? I think I can see it. No? Yes. Can build a second wall to alert you? Uh, I do have a few spares. I could put a maze in front of it as well. It might help a little bit. We don't have any yellow belts. Give me that. Random pieces of belt need repairing. What's our power like? Oh, it's still real... That 2.8 gigawatt is taking into account the uh, steam battery, though. So I have to be a little bit careful not to go over. Is that going to fit properly? No, it's not. robot creeping back to us. And what about over here? Nothing so far. I should probably lay down some more solar panels while I'm doing this. Did I, did I, I still didn't save that blueprint, did I? This'll do. I think that's 50. That's way more than 50. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that'll secure this wall for now. Let's go repair that bit of rail as well. Now the north wall is frying, actually. Um, I'd 
better head over there in a hurry. Alright. Without eight bots. And I should pick up some yellow belt while I'm at it. Also some more construction bots. I guess. I'm gonna be a bit more careful with them this time. I'm really low on repair packs as well. I should pick up any more flamethrower turrets and stuff while we're here. Where did I put the repair packs? There we go. Flamethrower turrets? Why don't I see any more? Because this thing's trying to make robots for us. I don't actually have electronic components in the network. We do now. Okay. Are we on max jetpack? We are. throw out some bots already. They'll catch up quite easily. And fling them into the biters. This is on its own power network as well, so that's more damaging than it might look at first. Uh, how's our power here? It looks okay for now, I guess. Let's just manually replace some of these. No more flashing. Cool. Great. Fantastic. Alright, do we finally have time to get the oil happening? One, two, three, four, I see biters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is that it? I've got thirteen. Nani? Oh, this one. Okay. Um, let's get some bots active. Let's make sure we have a laser. And I won't bother with shields right now. Bring your spare armor back just in case. Did I not put it away? Oh, crap. Alright, that's something to bear in mind. Um, do I have cliff explosives? I had them in my in my trash slots so the bots wouldn't use them. Okay, all right. That's unfortunate. Uh, where do I want the mid-type here? Probably about here? Question mark? That's actually super convenient. This will not be, but what can you do? Maybe like this? Not quite. How about something like this? And...
that's only that's not going to save any pipe really in fact it would cost more metal I could definitely see the biters coming to attack this. So I'll put a couple of laser turrets. No. Oh, that's convenient. Fantastic. Alright, let's get our copy-paste of this in place. Get rid of these weird trees that don't... that seem to count as buildings, so we can't just automatically remove them. They also don't get hidden by tree x-ray. Um, I guess this one's gonna have to be a little bit different. Is that connected? Let's get the crude oil connected so that we can see. Although I'm sure, uh, my visualizer would probably figure it out for us. But we may as well get the ammo in place as we go. What's happening here? Five entities are missing construction bots in Nalvis orbit. Oh, for repairing. One, two, three, four. I don't know what the fifth one is. Oh, this deconstruction, I see. Alright. Get out of here. Tree building. And do we not have crew? Did I miss a corner? Nope. It's just the bot range isn't what I would normally expect. Alright, flamethrower turret number one is ready to go. Fantastic. We are under attack, but I think we can actually handle this lot right here. They weren't squeezing through here, were they, to get at the solar panels? It's possible, maybe. That one's going to be a bit of a pain. And is that all of them? I think it is. Alright, let's make sure the crude oil actually gets where it needs to go. Uh, including here, preferably. Alright, get rid of those trees. And then this will have to be a little... No, this should work. Oh, that's lucky. The ammo belt is broken? Yeah. Or oh, we just ran out of ammo. 
we ran out of ammo. I think the ammo belt is actually... Oh, it's also broken. Okay. How much ammo do I have here? 31 rifle mags? That's not a whole lot. Where did our crude oil stop? Or is it just volume? No, it, it stopped over here. Fantastic. And then this one. Not quite see what I'm doing. All right, we have flamethrower turrets protecting the north wall. Next, we need robots and some automated resupply. Did we get that bit of belt fixed? I think we did. Fantastic. What about over here? How are we doing? Didn't get any more biters getting through somehow? I think it was probably just... Can they get over there? There is laser turret coverage, but what if, if more than a few... Oh no, wait, I think I checked this. This was actually inaccessible. Yeah, we can't walk this. I'm very concerned about how quickly we're going through ammo. Um, so they would have to go through here in particular. Maybe a couple more laser turrets here would be a good idea. What about down this way? They could go up there. We do have turret coverage. Some more walls would be good. We've got this spot covered as best as we can. just about do it. Okay. Um, I should probably get flamethrower turrets over here as well. How many do I have right now? One? Fantastic. Where were they coming? Right here. Something like... This? If I just do it like that, that's going to be our repeating pattern. And if we somehow... I think it's very unlikely that we lose a flamethrower turret without losing the pipe that's next to it. Whatever, this is fine. Let's 
plan this out while we're here. And we'll go back and get some more turrets. Can I do this? That's nice. Uh, also, Maslander. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this goes here. Where's the most sensible place to connect this? Probably about here. That lined up well. And then this way. Oh, we already went past this. That little bit of positioning is unfortunate. Uh, how about down here? Trees are in the way, of course. Okay, where? Oh, it's right here. Let's just use some regular pipe for that. I'm actually out of pipe to ground. Pretty much. Guten Morgen, own galaxy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, can I make some underground pipe? I can. How many do we need? Probably slightly too many. 21. And I can make 12. That, that, that's a tragedy. But we would only be connecting one flamethrower turret at the moment. Did I overestimate how many I need? Somehow? I think I did. Uh, we do need to kill that tree building over there. That's how we ended up with an odd number. And... Over here as well. Wait, why doesn't that line... Oh, I see. Anyway, let's go get some more stuff. And then I think I want to reinforce the south wall a bit. Well, I already have reinforced it a bit. Probably enough that I can go attack down there. And then focus on some building for a while. You make two per craft? Uh, yes, but... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it shows you the number of recipes you get out of that. Derp. Ten entities are being damaged. Well, the tactical ablative armor is doing its job, but we're running out of it down there. Let's sort out our inventory a bit. And I wanted to make sure I got flamethrower turrets. Why don't we have more flamethrower turrets? Because we're still making the productivity modules. Okay, let's switch that off for now. Yep. 
yeah, that is going to have to wait a bit. We should probably aim for lots of flamethrower turrets, actually. And I should... I am carrying one stack of each type of pipe, but that's not that much when we're laying out flamethrower turrets. Where am I going to get the flames for down here? Not all the way up there, I hope. It looks like it. Oh, here's some crude oil. I think we'll use that. And for down here... There's some crude over this way. Then again, maybe... No, I don't want to take even more territory, even more territory, especially with how long it takes to fly around. The biters keep attacking based on proximity anyway, even if the pollution cloud doesn't reach them. Uh, I almost ran out of processed fuel this time. Let's grab a few more stacks of that. And I think, hmm, I don't know, this wall up here, the diagonal one, has been holding pretty well. I think the south and southeast walls are higher priority right now. Let's grab some more wall. Do I have wall automated up here somewhere? I don't think I do. It's just stone brick, right? Yeah. Literally just... Stone brick. Um, how about we just put some here for the moment. Probably upgrade that. And give it some power. I've got three, 240 right now. That's not that bad. Let's get moving. I wonder if the aggression, I wonder if the evolution level has something to say about the aggression functions with Rampant. Let's repair all that. Let's get the bots to do it, actually. And I meant to put this away. I won't have to remember next time, as long as I don't die out here. As long as I don't die out here. Let's add some laser turrets. Let's make sure it's connected to main power. It is. I don't want to go overboard adding laser turrets. And crash our power. Considering how much energy we've got stored for the CMEs... Um, we'll get some early warning as long as we look for it. going to be strong enough for now. Uh, and I really want to clear out whatever's been attacking over here. We have 174 defender capsules on us at this moment. That should be enough. Especially since it's all it's mostly fast biters and some common biters, and not that many purples. 
Oh, regenerative. Good. Great. I love being wrong. Fantastic. Rather large nests, though, or at least combinations of nests. I don't want to swing the bots into the claws. They'll get deleted. Okay. I do need them to deal damage quickly, though. Maybe I should focus on the commons first, and then we can clear the regens when we don't have to move much. Focus on the spawners. in Nervous Orbit. Let me out, let me out. Okay. Into the nests now that we've pulled all the biters away. Fantastic. Rip bots. It just takes a moment in range of those claws. Lots more nasty claws. Is this them? No, acidic bite. Where are the regens coming from? Oh, there it is. reach do they have? Too much. I want to get that spawner. There we go. Alright, I'll come back for the regens, maybe. They're not much of a threat to the base. They're just hard to kill. I should get a personal flamethrower. Can I do that already? Yes. In fact, I can just handcraft it, but we have to make the fuel, obviously. I don't think I've ever used the personal flamethrower with the jetpack. I don't think we have any more bloat burst ammo at all. So get out of here. I'm pretty sure the, if I recall correctly, the regen bite is a extra vulnerable to flame, though. Fantastic. Only got 67 bots left. We'll get the flamethrower once they run out.
quite a lot of fighter hit points to chew through before we get the uh, spawners here. down to 17. There we go. So many tiny fighters. I can't get the spawner. Oh my god. There's just too many of them. Alright, there we go. Very good ASMR. Uh, thank you. Zern, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that is a long fighter nest. I want to focus on the spawners, not the biters. smoothly. Now we've got way too many biters all covering what we want to destroy. And this is my last set of bots. We've got lots of them back at base, but only 14 in the hand. We need to go back and get some flamethrower ammo sorted out as well. So many small ones. They're actually super dangerous. Oh my god. I just want to get those last two spawners. That's one. That's two. We got there eventually. Probably just in time. The bots are about to self-destruct, I think. Let's get rid of these ones while we've still got bots. Better they attack here than at the wall. How's our fuel? 400. Okay, those bots actually had way more lifespan left than I thought. Maybe I could have tried attacking. Let's go get some flamethrower ammo. Or maybe I'll take a little break first.
got plenty of laser turrets, quite a few gun turrets. Um, walls. We should have made quite a few walls by the time we get back already. Where are we? Oh, this is probably where I want to make the flamethrower ammo. Uh, let's see. It's literally just iron plate and crude oil. Uh, crude oil? Really? That's weird. There's only one recipe? Yeah. Alright, well, we're not pumping crude oil anywhere. I guess we could... I need a chemical plant, actually. Do I not have one on me, or the means to handcraft it? I need glass. Technically, I could pump crude oil all the way up here. But... Let's see. Five... Five iron plate per ammo. That's kind of a lot, actually. Hmm... Let's see. Pipe visualizer. So the white is the crude oil. I haven't got it anywhere else. I'd have to pipe it all the way up here somewhere. I guess in the long run that's the easier thing. Um... But where exactly? Can we get a chemical plant? Actually, let's do it this way. Crude oil. I should use steel pipes, it'll make it a bit easier. Mr. Nafka, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated, thank you. Four months. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Where should I put this exactly? I guess it doesn't matter. Probably. That's actually looking super convenient. And... Over here, perhaps? We're just barely not running into other pipes. I, I almost couldn't possibly ask for a better way that that could have lined up. Alright. Give me some steel underground pipes. Do we have those automated even? Um... We've got steel pipe automated, but we're not, like, stashing it away anywhere. How many did I just plan out? 31? That doesn't sound right. I'll just add passive provider here. We'll take whatever steel pipe we can get this way. Fifteen steel pipe for one pair of undergrounds. That's a little harsh. How many can I make right now? Six pairs. Oh, we only need like four more pairs, don't we? Except I need steel plate as well. Gimme gimme. That's probably enough. And I'll take the steel pipe as well. Okay. 
are steel pipes better than normal pipes? They reach further, and they have a slightly higher capacity as well. And because they reach further, you'll connect pipes up with fewer pipe segments, which means your flow rate will be better, if that's the case. Um, iron plate, and... I guess... This. All right, let's get that crude connected. Do I not have any... Where did my steel pipe go? I guess I'll just use iron pipe for the corners. Pretend you didn't see that. Do I not have bots? I don't have bots. Bots... How's our fuel? It, it it still has about 600 years remaining. It's fine. And corner. Hurry up, bots. Just another couple of segments. Are you guys... Okay? Wait, don't tell me we ran out. Uh-oh. Three... And maybe four? Is it now connecting? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Alright, I don't know how I ended up with one steel underground. Maybe it was because a bot was reserved to deliver that from the bot network. Get out of here. Uh, and we want to limit this to a stack or two. Stack size 100. Uh, how about we speed this up a little bit for now? Since everything is just a bit urgent. Fantastic. Can the inserter arm keep up? Yes, it can. Quite easily, actually. We've only taken one... Oh, wait, no. I was going to say one little scratch here, since I was here. But it is still looking surprisingly good. Oh. Yeah, okay, so this can handle the purple attacks. For quite a while to come, as a matter of fact. But if I clear this area, it should get even easier. Um, before I do, we should probably get flamethrower turrets up here. How many flamethrowers do I have? Zero. Did we make some? We very much did. Fantastic. Alright, uh, I don't want to swap out the robo... Whoops. 
Ow, 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 ow. No, I lost like 80% of a uranium fuel cell. No, more than that. I lost like two of them because of just misclicking on that. Wow. Okay. That is... That is a very expensive misclick. We can't... We don't actually have cover eggs yet, so we're just making our uranium fuel cells out of whatever 235 we get randomly. Uh, which is not a whole lot. Alright, let's head back up north. One hundred years down the train? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, it somehow lost both, like, the 80% of the fuel that was remaining from the last. Uh, I think we just lost, like, 80% of one uranium fuel cell, actually. Because it was down to here, and we had four left. Uh, that's a shame. Oh, I didn't get the flamethrower ammo for myself. Well, it's still... It's still crafting the first star. Holy crap. What... What is... What is this? And I just woke it up. Okay, I think we'd better hurry up with those flamethrower turrets. I think that might be a good idea. Oh, wow. The flames just delete the regenerative biters. Okay, I am feeling a lot more confident for the moment. Uh, and we need this to go here. And this to go here, I think. Seems good. Alright, that is looking a lot more secure. Could we get some... Probably a good idea to get some flame here as well. A little bit of an awkward build, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's bring that down this way and like so did you legitimately spend more than a cell during this playthrough I've spent like 20% of one cell and I lost the rest of that cell with that misclick removing the portable nuclear reactor Alright, flames. Uh, I definitely want them a bit further back. This seems alright. And then... Fantastic. Alright. I feel a hell of a lot better about the north walls for now. Uh, do we have more biters on the way? No. Yes, but they're going to take a year to get here. I should definitely go get flame th uh, personal flamethrower and see how good they are on this slot. Oh my god, look at all the wiggling. That's got to cost us some UPS. Not that we're anywhere near dipping below 60 at this point, but suffice to say it will be a requirement that we clear out Nalvis. I 
Have you ever used mines? Not really. All right, let's do some building. We were trying to build our first block in the uh, rail block network. We got some uh, little copper mine. We got a block that's going to be uh, our first depot. And we got a block that's going to be smelting copper. I'd definitely like to have the wind power automated. Let's do that. Oh, that's definitely something for the auto crafter. Say 50 of those. That's not going to take long at all. Nice. Uh, I'll take a bit more jetpack fuel. Take off. Oh, this is just building. Okay. What was I going to take? Rail as well? Did we automate rail by belt or or what? I don't want to throw too much at the auto crafter at once. Why is there nothing on this belt? Because we never connected it. Because this was just planned out just in case we want to expand this thing. Um, let's just get rid of this, I suppose. Um, and what was it doing? It, I think it's just stone and... Oh, it's actually steel... Oh, we, we automated it here, didn't we? Because it's steel beam plus stone. Yeah, there's our rail. Uh, and we used the auto crafter to make signals. Me neither, mines are weird. I've... Using mines as mines, they don't seem very good. Uh, but I know some people like to just drop them directly on the biters. It's time for long range pew pew. Uh, I need to go to space again to make that happen first. Small blocks, that's interesting. Yeah, I wanted to do something a bit different. Um... We'll have less spiky production of various things in a rail block this way when I inevitably undersupply for certain things. And we can also rebalance the loads going into the trains more easily. Well, much more easily since we have these giant containers as well. Um, I forgot to bring a locomotive. Well, two locomotives and two uh, cargo wagons, to be precise. As much as the bots will be more energy efficient if I don't have them travel as far, I think one personal robot port is a bit, a bit short. Hey, Tog. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I haven't actually designed the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Depot yet, either. Well, I haven't designed any blocks. It, it's just the blocks themselves that I've designed. Just about running out of rail already. Using LTN? Yep. You can't use LTN for uh, getting through the space elevator 
but LTN stations double as regular stations. Um, that is to say, you can use a vanilla schedule to go to an LTN station. So it's not that difficult to make it function as both a vanilla station as well. So what's the planned train length? One, two, one? Yeah, for most of them, yeah. And we'll have some we'll have some onesies as well for lower throughput stuff. Or for like more specialized loads with lots of different items. Alright, how much more rail do I need right now? About six hundred. And I think we'll just I feel like I remember handcrafting a locomotive. Do we have it over here somewhere? Loco... No, we do not. Okay. Let's make sure there's always a few here. Say 10 and 10. That is shockingly slow to make. Alright, let's, while we're waiting for that, let's jump into editor and see what our depot block is going to look like. So we want to fit, we'll start with the LCCL trains. Um, we want to fit as many as possible while also having plenty of room for the trains to get out. Symmetry would be a bonus. I wonder if we could even make it, like, quarter symmetrical? Since the train size is relatively small. Uh, let's see, we need LTM train stops. If I do it this way, they'll only have one way out. I, I do prefer for them to have two ways out. Hmm. And instead of doubling up on the stations this time, I might just make it so that every other track has the train stop on a different side. How much space does this take up? Uh, that's actually about what we're looking for already. Where did my cargo wagons go? Hmm. Is it actually feasible to do the quarter thing? I think if we're doing left-hand drive on the straights, then it's easiest for the trains to leave this way. Maybe I could even do it like this, I don't think so. Early, harder, later, easy? Is K2 making SX easier or harder? Uh, yeah, early, harder, later, easy is about what I've heard and or seen so far. I, don't, I think we'll have corners starting here. And this was how much? I think that's going to work out. Uh, what was I trying to do exactly? Like this? No, like this, I guess. Okay, I kind of like that. 
that actually looks pretty neat. Uh, and if we really want to, we could have at least one more in here. Where did my stations go? Here. The only downside of this design is when the trains leave, they have to go out in this direction in particular. However, I think we'll tend to get a spread of them leaving via different roundabouts just because of when they come back into the stations. Whoops. And we could definitely have another one here. Actually, that might be neater. Um, we don't have to have them park totally straight, but uh, it would make it easier to to get fuel back into the locomotives. It'd just be kind of neater as well. So if I were looking at like 20 trains in one block, which I think is probably totally fine actually. So we want them to be able to both come in and go out. That's going to look like that. And then... We've got tons of space over here, so let's go for something that looks a bit better. Um, how much... what's the range of a Roboport? Where are our roboports? Oh. What if I put it in logistic mode? That's kind of good. If we have one roboport in the exact center, which I think is here, or is it? Is there? I'm pretty sure there's an exact center here. Like, uh, these two tiles. Okay, so that goes there. That goes there. Uh, it's already lined up perfectly. Fantastic. So we could probably have a uh, train deliver rocket fuel, or whatever fuel we're going to use. Um, and just have the bots, instead of having some belt spaghetti, we could have a few bots move these around. And we shouldn't need many bots at all. Uh, we will need a couple of big electric poles, which is going to make it look a little bit messier, though. What would it look like if... Well, let's do this first. I could have another stop somewhere. Just for the drop off for fuel. And ruin the lovely symmetry. I could theoretically also make this the one design uh, that's going to work for both sizes of trains. If I want to query the LTN stop to check where the locomotives are. But it spits it out in binary. We have to do a modulus Well, actually, we would only need the one... We, we would need one arithmetic combinator per train. 
I don't particularly like that. I think I'll just do something a little bit different for the shorter trains. It's not like it's the only Roboport type you'll have either. It is for quite a while. Um, but this range is perfect if we want to use the Roboports for this. The question is how messy would the belts look? Um... We could do a giant sushi belt, actually. Hold on. I never even thought about this, but... No. I was going to say, can we feed a locomotive from this angle? I am curious to know. Where's that loco? If we put, like, an inserter here... And some fuel. Is that going to reach? No, it's not. Alright. We wouldn't be able to do it up this end anyway. Um, let's just put in a few example trains. That doesn't look right. I guess we don't actually have a cheap robo network here. And one of these over here. I wonder if I could make a stop that functions as both a depot and a fuel drop-off. That would be different. I was trying something like that with liquids, but uh, there were other complications that were liquid-specific. But... Let's say, if these are going to be this close together, I think there's only one pattern that works for this. Feeding from the side would not be an issue if you zigzag the belt through. That is a thought. Let's say we use this one to drop off the fuel. Um, and then we go like, that would be an underground, I don't love that. I guess all of these are going to do something like that. But then that's going to be on the wrong side. This one goes into here, this one goes into here, and then this one is all wrong. Something like this. I guess that's the only one that needs to do a little zigzaggy, but then would it be better if that's not going to have room to go here if we use a red underground okay alright maybe this will be different I don't know, I'm leaning towards bots for this. Otherwise, the spaghetti. Yeah, no, no, it's gonna be bots. Let, let's, let's do bots for this one. Alright. 
So we're just going to have... I do realize we don't have requested chests that we can manufacture just yet. But for now, it won't take a whole lot of... manual supply to keep this going. And just have those. How many stacks of fuel do these take? Three. Just have those request three stacks of fuel. Actually, The bots are going to keep up with it quite easily. We'll just request like 50 in each chest. And substation... Oh, that's good. One substation can cover almost all of these. God damn it. Alright, fine. How about up here? And then that doesn't quite reach, how dare you? And then we have a power pole connecting these. And then... Something like this, perhaps? Is that all in the robot network? It is. Let's make these depots. We need a constant combinator. Uh, where is it going to fit best? Probably right next to the wire. I mean the light. Depot. Stop is depot. Um... And I think we want to give it minimum and maximum train length. Locos do eat more than normal through, though. So unless you're feeding them rocket fuel, it's going to be an issue. What do you mean? Pink pajamas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're going to have a, a store of fuel that's like central for this block and the bots are going to deliver it a little bit more reactively. Use request a chest instead of belts, yeah. Iron height, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. You're going to be stopping by blocks like these manually once every few minutes. Not at the scale that we're at so far, and we'll get requested chests relatively soon. What's the size of this block? Uh, let's see. Uh, the Snap 2 is 86 by 86. Right then. Did I... Did I copy the request settings? Yeah, I did. Now, the thing I want to figure out... Well, maybe I shouldn't spend too much time on it right now, but I was thinking, can we get... I bet we can. I, I bet we could get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we just have to manage the signals. So one of these stops, let's say the one on the left is going to have uh, some dynamic settings with LTN. So we're going to, if we've got plenty of fuel uh, in this block for the trains, then it's going to act as a depot. Uh, and once we drop below a certain amount, it's going to have some like probably latch-like behavior. Well, I guess the latch is we deliver a whole lot of fuel, sort of. That'll probably be enough. But if we drop below X amount of fuel uh, in probably some passive providers, 
um, then this will stop being a depot and start requesting uh, fuel. The only problem I can foresee there is what if we've got more than enough trains and this train just never happens to leave. We could do it with every station, but that would probably be a bit ridiculous. Um, or could we or should we just fit another little station somewhere? I. It would ruin the symmetry, but it might be the way to go. Okay. You could do poor man's request chest by making them yellow chests with Yule filter, then deconstruct chests with fuel when needed. Yeah. We'll have to do some sort of short-term stopgap in any case. Um... I'll have a think about what I can come up with with the dynamic stuff. The, the, the thing is, I don't think we have a way to, like, deliberately get a train to leave if this turns from being a depot into requesting fuel. Um, so we're probably going to end up just having, like, an extra stop, which is probably going to be slightly outside of this roboport. Unless... Uh, I don't love that. I do love this layout other than that, though, so I think we're going to mostly stick with that. Let's get rid of the trains. And... We'll copy this for the moment. Uh, that's going to go there. How much rail are we missing right now? 1k? That's less than I expected. I don't really have the inventory space for it at the moment, though. Um, why don't we just shove some of this stuff into chests? And the bots immediately return some of it. Never mind. Don't need this much yellow belt at the moment. And... I think, at least for now, we won't actually have most of these stops active until we have the bots. We'll only have a handful of trains for a while. Alright, let's just grab a bit... Oh, that's like 1800. I was going to say a bit over a thousand rail. That's way more than we need. I expect. Hey, Zavoxifol, RF Holloway, good to see you again. Well, welcome, hope you're doing well. Have you considered on train smelting manufacturing? Yeah, oh, as in the train parks and then we do that? No, I don't like that as much. Um, especially for the shape of the blocks we're making. I don't know how well that's going to work out. But it's just more a stylistic choice. I don't I don't love it personally. I don't think it's like any more or less valid or anything like that. Didn't get any uranium. Fantastic. Our robot pots aren't losing energy, that's good. Or, I guess we haven't had a run on bot energy just yet. How's our military front? I don't want to lose track of that while we're doing building things. I forgot to pick up the uh, flamethrower fuel as well. Looks like we've had a little scratch on that wall and nothing else. Uh, this wall is always getting chewed away at, but the actual turrets seem to be okay. And this wall also has a little scratch. I still didn't fix that, so that's from a while ago. 
Yeah, I think we're okay for the moment. It's not terribly urgent. So let's focus on this. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Repair drones? Yeah, I need to work them into the resupply. Um, and instead of making something super specific like I did with this uh, ammo train, uh, I would like to get the rail blocks to the point where I can just do that easily. Um, I did have the autocrafter start making some trains. So we should have quite... Uh, quite a few more than we need right now that we can pick up. Fantastic. And I think we already automated... Uh, yes, we did. Oh, that is a lot of industrial furnaces. <laughs> We're so far ahead of what we need for that. That's a good feeling. I definitely need to go back and get some, uh, some rail signals, but as long as we've only got one train, that won't be an issue. Let's turn off our RoboPort before we go place one of these in a random spot. I also need a constant combinator. Do we not have those automated at the auto crafter? Probably yes. Yeah, we've got plenty. I just haven't requested them yet. And then steel chest for now. Locomotive. Couple of cargo wagons. Uh, and this is just going to be called. Actually, since we're going to have two types of depots, that's probably not what I'm looking for. Uh, how about... Should I go like LCCL depot? Is that going to look weird? How readable is that? I, I guess it's readable enough. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. And then we go... I should probably start that name with Depot. Or maybe just call it Depot and then add some text might be easier to read. That seems fine. Alright, so it'll LTN will change this whether we like it or not anyway, but we'll just say five seconds of inactivity at depot. And this station is copper ore provider. Uh, we need some power for the bulk rail loaders, as it turns out. I just gave up all of my flight, didn't I? Give me some of that back. And... I guess that works. So we have... Ride stack threshold 80, train size 4... I don't know if the default train limit is one or like basically un- oh no. How did you get there? Uh, well, no time to wonder about that. Let's go. Jetpack. I would be extremely impressed if, uh, if Rampant actually does some kind of try to sneak behind enemy lines AI, but I don't think that's it. No, I've run out of fuel. Oh no. Um, okay, we can make a fuel processor. We've got quite a lot of fuel right here. That'll be fine. 
one more for the wood. Get in there. Not the wooden chest. That seems a little wasteful. Actually, we can make infinite wood, so who cares. Alright. Give me that. So my station will receive a coal cargo and leave as plastics. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do understand how that works. Um, but I like the trains to move when there's actually something to pick up. Although it's not impossible to sort of program them to behave like that with LTN. You just have to pretend there's cargo there when there isn't with the signals. Alright, do we have bots? We've got 14. And... where did they go? They were definitely chewing on the solar panels, right? Oh, that's... that's even scarier. Did they go for the... Did... did I imagine this? There were purple biters here, weren't they? Oh, or... it was up north, wasn't it? Um... Um, why would they leave... If... if they were chewing away at this and nothing was shooting them? Is this them? Yeah, no, this is what they were destroying. How are there dead biters here? Do the spawner biters have a limited lifespan? The, sp the tiny ones, that wouldn't surprise me, but... This is so weird. I, I am thoroughly confused. I'm, I'm pretty sure we've cleared out all the spawners in this area. So the purple ones spawn additional biters. I don't know how they got past the walls in the first place, but... For some reason they chewed on some of this and then... died? You should really remove all the goo? Uh, I mean, that is quite the task. More to the point, it takes up a lot of inventory space. It seems they can't even scratch this with a frontal... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I know how they got in. Alright, we've got more defenses on us right now. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in turret range, or at least... No, if it was in turret range, it's not like they would have take some, taken some damage and then moved on. Yeah, I think they passed through here. It looks like I can cross this. Alright. Well, I, I'm i very surprised they would actually path through here and ignore the turrets. But at least this makes sense again. Let's put a flamethrower turret here. I need to bring more ammo up here as well, but I think the lasers and flamers are probably more than enough at this point. And some walls. In fact, just block that off entirely. That should probably cover it. It can go around that way by way of the sand and the water. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to spot. Also, 99% of them just throw themselves at this wall. So there's that. 
All right, I think we're secure again. Um, that's weird. I think the I think we've got the quad symmetry with the poles here, but the wire connections didn't work out that way this time. I'd better check our power up here since it's on its own little network. It's looking okay, I think. We're actually it's actually getting into dusk right now, so this will be a perfect opportunity to see how low the accumulated charge gets. Budgie bun, welcome up. Oh sorry, budgie bum. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you have enough fuel for the trip back? Possibly. The long pole is removing the symmetry. No, they're pla I, I'm pretty sure they're placed correctly, but... Just the way that Factorio connects the wires, uh, it's, it's not, like, necessarily consistent. Redstonia. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So if we actually disconnect this, I think, or rather connect it like this, and disconnect this one, I think that's consistent in all directions. Yeah. I think it comes down to... What the heck was that? Well, I hope that'll hold for at least five minutes. Um, let's go get some more fuel before we run out. Where is it? Here it is. I guess I could do a vanilla train delivering fuel. Uh, I could do a temporary spaghetti belt thing, even though it pains me to do so. We'll just remove it as soon as we can and pretend it never happened, and it'll be less pain in the long run. Alright, so we need a destination for this, uh, for this copper. Oh, I just put all, all of my fuel away again, didn't I? Genius. I wish I could get some exoskeletons already. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of power here. It's on its own network. There's probably like one wind turbine. Yeah, there's literally two wind turbines here. Alright, give me that. Give me that. And then we're gonna go... Oh, I can do this in the editor actually. So designing will be a bit quicker. Uh, we're going to put, I think, was it like this or was it like this? Uh, signals, where are you? There we go. And there should be more than enough room for one of these. And that should be exactly in the center. Ten. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. All right. And then we go for unloader. Well, let's figure out where it fits first. Right about there, I think. Perfect. And it's a little weird placing these sometimes, but that was easy enough this time. Uh, now, I would love if we could get a layout that makes sense for the moment. But we also 
lay it out in such a way that uh, we don't need to change anything when we have the best beacons in the game. Wait, what? Did I not just... Whitelist? Oh, this is without the lights on them. Uh, lighted small... Lighted medium, lighted big, and a lighted substation. Fantastic. Okay. And I'm just going to design it with the... Uh... Did I not do one of these without the... Here we go with lighted pylon substations in mind for later on. And I was thinking maybe one beacon on each end? Potentially. And some rows of furnaces. How many can we fit? If it's going to be one in, one out, well, it's going to be a bit different later on. Enriched copper. That's still pretty much just one resource in, one resource out. It's the same crafting time as well. Molten copper. 24 enriched copper plus pyroflux. Oh, it's got fluid inputs. And it comes out as fluid? Okay, that's fun. Um, I don't think we're going to be making a layout for this that's just straight upgrade for the late game, which is fine. At least that's what we'll tell ourselves. How long until we can do in uh, this... Molten copper recipe, I wonder. Molten copper. Did we already have the tech? I'm guessing it doesn't get better than this. Alright, but for now we need to get stuff done. Um... If there's no way we're going to still be using this when we go to big beacons, then I won't worry about that this time. Uh, we'll leave room for small beacons, which is, of course, just three tiles in the middle. Uh, we can only get three of these at a time. Let's see how that would fit, and or what the rate would be. We're gonna want train stations here with loaders. Bulk rail loaders, that is. Does that line up? Yes, it does. Okay. I guess... Oh, we're going to save so much space on, like, balances and stuff coming out of these things. Alright, so for now we're just going to do the most basic copper plate recipe. Let's say that we have... Eventually... Prod modules... Whoops. Uh, prod modules and speed modules. I don't think we'll go that far on the tier 3s, or maybe we'll have some efficiencies. But let's sort of assume the most extreme case here. 148 per second? Um, that's more than expected. What if we go for some efficiency as well? What are we on power-wise right now? Lots. Efficiency 3. 
How do we make efficiency three? When will we actually have it? Maybe I should look at twos. Can I spell efficiency? So we can make this already. Of course. Efficiency three requires cryonite rods. And we need cryonite rods just to get our next science pack. So let's pretend we have those. Um, that is plus 360% power. That's still positive power. That is... Zero? Really? As in plus zero? Productivity plus 40%. If we remove one prod, we get the 80%, negative 80% limit on efficiency. And this is actually exactly normal power consumption. Hmm. Okay. How slow does that make it? Uh, 19 per second. Relatively slow. I assume we're going to be able to... We can use substations. We can definitely get this done power-wise. Uh, how much would the input and output be? Less than one blue belt. Alright. So we're just going to have, like... Is it from here? Not like that. We could put this closer. Well, we need the output belt as well. I could do input and out. Is the output going to be more or less? The output is slightly more. With the prod modules, that is. Uh, otherwise, it would be less. Can we fit... Yes, we can. This is going to be only 9 per second. Would it still be less than a yellow belt if we don't have modules? That's a blue belt of input. Yeah, we're, we're not going to start with modules. So we're looking at maybe just six of these. With a red belt. Don't bother with the efficiencies. So times four, we're looking at just over uh, four belts of copper input and just over three out. So let's pretend it's four in, four out. I could, if I really want to, uh, th these things have lots of capacity. I think it's eight train loads. Um, if I really want to, I could set it up so that these will rebalance automatically. As opposed to having a balancer here. Whoops. Can we do it like this? Uh, what's our rate individually? With no modules, 5 per second in, 3.7 out. Let's just call that a stack inserter. Can we put them here? I think... Wait, how many is this? Nine. It's not an even number. Tap. How about like this for the consistency of it? One, 
two, three. Wait, what? Once more with feeling. And output. Oh, I think I messed up the output. If we're going fast with no modules, that's 33 times 4. Can we make enough room? We've got like 1, 2, 3 tiles. I think the answer is yes. If we assume that substation is going to be there. We probably shouldn't assume that substation is going to be there because this is before we do it with pyroflux. So we don't have to worry about the upgrade path for this version so much. It's cool that we have these different ways of doing things, but uh, at the same time... I was looking forward to uh, trying to make it so that we can just get the build right the first time and then have a really smooth upgrade path. But I guess since it's not long until we get uh, like pyroflux and stuff, relatively speaking, it'll work out. And we need to use both sides of the belt as well. How many is this? Nine? Yeah, nine. So... 33.750. I could have just used this, actually. No, I was trying to divide it by two. Dope. 16... Well, we're just going to have to go as close to an even belt as possible. I could use two inserters for this one to get it, uh, to get the stuff out. 3.75 per second, sure, whatever. And then these ones up here are going to be near side and these ones are going to be far side as usual so then we've got room for our beacons uh we'll use substations for now that's actually nice and easy Probably put this about here, and this will go here. Why does that look different on that side? All right, seems good. And then we can just have loaders go straight in to here. This one will be a little bit different. Maybe we should have a splitter to re... No, it doesn't matter. Also, I can see that that isn't the same. That's kind of weird, actually. Let's just delete this. Copy, paste again. I should probably check on the biters. Seems good for the moment. Twelve o'clock and all's well. Oh, hi. Andy Gaming. 
Master Blug, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Captain Moller as well. Sorry, I've been neglecting chat a little bit. Prairie Flux is available with initial core mining. Yeah, I noticed. Indeed. T Hacks is K2SE part 4 on YouTube. Or is that the video? I think it is the video labeled 3.2. I haven't had time to double check just yet. Um, but I looked at, like, the start of the next video. Uh, it, it didn't look like a whole lot had been added to the main bus base. So I think that's right. What is this doing here? Okay. Um, should I bother to, like, rebalance these? So basically, it's a little hard to see, but we've got two big containers, right, like this. And I was thinking... We could allow shorter trains to drop stuff off like this if we go... We would need one combinator, just so that we can compare one to the other. We also need to tell LTN what we've got here. So we'd have something like... Arithmetic? Question mark? Read this on the red wire. Uh, copper ore times one. Output, I don't know, C for copper. And then... I was... It's a bit different because we have to connect both of these to LTN, but I was going to say read this one uh this would this would be like copper this would be c is copper greater than c and so on but because we have to have both of these connected with a green wire can we just math it out without another combinator um divided by two yeah i think so so Copper divided by 2 equals C, and then instead of like that, we're going to get the total copper divided by 2, and then we could do it this way or this way. That looks like such a wire spaghetti mess. Uh, let's see. If copper is greater than C. Then we let it through here. And same thing over here. I have a feeling we're going to end up with a little bit of it cycling indefinitely. Um... Maybe it's not worth it. But on the other hand, I would love to have trains able to drop off resources regardless of their size. So we got 1.5k here. This is 300. I maybe could have stopped a bit sooner. 1.2 and almost 600. 7 and 1.0. 8 and... Okay, here we go. Is it gonna, It's probably going to have a little bit cycling forever. No? They stopped at 906 each exactly. Huh. What if it's already got some on the belt there? And then... Yeah, that's already demonstrated what I thought would happen. I don't think that's going to be optimal for UPS somehow, although it's significantly simpler than some other systems we've had. Maybe I just won't worry about it for now. Um, we're going to only bring trains that are full and assume that this is balanced. 
uh, and we need four belts coming out of it. If we do do it that way, I think we should have a belt balancer though. Just to be sure. Uh, let's see. I don't want to use the same board of four as usual. We don't need a lane balancer. But maybe we can make it fit a little bit better. I've got a corner version, but that's not really what we're looking for. We need a few belts coming out of each of these. And then they merge, they crisscross. I don't know, maybe just a regular one of these right about here is close to the best we can do. No, I remember making one of these last playthrough that kind of split a little bit like this, and it actually looked kind of good. Let's hope there's a way. This can't be perfectly symmetrical, but I... Alright, what if we do this? So far, so good. And then we need the outer ones to merge and split as well. And then... Is this it? Except these two on this side. Oh well. I think that's functionally the same as our regular water four belt balancer. Uh, the middle two merge and meet the end. The outer two merge and meet the end. Yeah. It looks kind of funky. Can we move it up like a tile? Not really, but also we would need the loaders, so absolutely not. Could I... I could move it one tile further to the left. And this would go like here. That's not the best look, but it's not the worst either. Chest balancer. Use anything, then you can use it for iron, etc. too. Oh, right, I see what you mean. Yeah. Except uh, we're going to have other... Si we might have other signals on this wire. Yeah, the green signal that would be happening right now from the logistic train stop uh, is why I was backing away from keeping that generic. And we are very slowly smelting by accident with our test set up here. Okay. Um... I should really rebalance it over here as well if I'm going to do that, I guess. Well, no. Uh, okay. When I've counted on we're balancing it here, therefore this will be balanced in the past, it has run into issues. It probably shouldn't. If we ever take something from here, it's going to be off, like, forever. Let's save that for a second. Can we fit a nice balancer here? It's four to four again. But it's not really four to four, it's... Well, it's four to two, but we need the throughput of four to four. Is that any different? I 
wonder. I wonder if we could skip some of this and get the result we're looking for. Well, that's actually right. Um, and then this would go... That's not going to do it, is it? So just the middle ones can switch. But... So 50% of this goes to here, 50% of it. 25%... 50... That's going to be 75-25, and that's going to be 75-25. Um, so no, I don't think, I don't think that's going to work the way we would like it to. What if we did this, and then... That's not going to fit, is it? I could move the substation. Oh, that just connects there. That's neat. This would still need power somehow. Alright, so this could be further back if we need it to be. split here, go there, these two would split and merge back to where exactly? This looks horrible, actually. The only thing that can go wrong is belt length. Yeah, 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 because the belts are not the same length, you get um, some weird behavior sometimes with the balancing up here but not down here. I'm surprised, uh, without even having any speed modules or anything, we're looking at this much throughput. 180 copper ore per second going in on just half of this block. I could maybe move all of this up at least one tile. We've got some space up here. Some of this could maybe... Not really. Let me check on the military situation. It's making me nervous. Oh, speaking of which... This is still quite well defended. But I should hurry up and clear the nests that are relatively close to here. We're still getting a lot of spawner biter attacking... Uh, biters attacking there. I don't know where they're coming from. Oh, these are spawn... Okay, all of that red was just default biters that we hadn't seen change yet. O okay, that makes sense. Maybe it would be more UPS friendly to load it into one big chest using loaders and have four loaders output. I was tempted to do that. Um, let's copy this because I actually kind of like it, but maybe we won't end up using it after all. Uh, we can already make the biggest warehouses, right? I was going to maybe not use this just because we've already got tons of storage here, but if we want the most UPS friendly question mark? Uh, the lack of symmetry hurts. 
let's just pretend it's fine. Don't worry about it. This won't actually rebalance, but it'll, like, saturate, which is the same thing as far as we're concerned in this context. If we then... There's not that much room here. Two in, two out. No, it, it, we need four in, four out. I think I need to see how much further... Maybe we just don't build this as long in the end. That that would actually solve the problem pretty easily. Can you interweave undergrounds of the same tier going in opposite directions? Uh, no. No, I don't think... If I'm understanding the question, the answer is no. Yeah, I, I think we should just, like, not worry about absolutely packing this with furnaces. That might actually be a way to go about it. And then all of that would fit under one big beacon later on as well. I think I like this better, honestly. We're, we were already like, oh, our belts are not going to keep up until we get X. So, if we have to, if we're not able to build this as compact when we do the fluid version as well, I imagine we can, but if we're not able to be as compact with the fluid version, uh, this also gives us more room later on. Let's see, I want this to be about here. And... Did we leave room for... I'll probably want to do some copy-paste at some point. Move this one tile to the left. Uh, I guess we don't have to worry about the odd number, either. That's nice. Yeah, that works out better in a number of ways. Where did I put that lovely balancer I made? Oh, no. But it is, as you said, it's probably, it's probably more UPS friendly uh, not to have. Not to have uh, splitters for balancers and just shove all of this into a big box. We can't put those right next to each other, can we? No, I'm pretty sure we can't. Uh, so, something like this, and like this. That seems good. And then, like so. And like so. Probably put some undergrounds just to tidy it up a bit, reduce the count and the stack size of stuff we need to carry here. And then pretty much the exact equal and opposite on this side.
This is so much easier. And cleaner. Uh, and I guess... Hmm. How did I... Like this? What the? No, stop. Red belt. It's a little hard to see, but those are set up correctly. Oh. Oh yeah, you want to be careful about having bots and or undo and stuff placing bulk rail loaders or unloaders. It can be a bit weird. Alright, um, let's go for something like this. I like this so much better. The fact that you can just glance at it and see exactly what it's doing is no small thing either. We also gain ludicrous storage, so there's that. We go from 640 to adding another 512 on each end. But yeah, I think that'll be fine. And we've got room to double it very easily. It's weird how that lines up. As opposed to this, which does the same thing. I have tested that with trains, so no worries there. Alright, so I think that's our basic copper smelting. Basic copper. Uh, train stop names, yes, please. I need to make sure those are set up, actually. Standard pickup station. Standard requester. Change it so that the quest stack threshold is 180. Train length is 4. Uh, don't bother with a train limit. Set that off by default so that we're not summoning trains before we're ready when we're building stuff. Proper or requester. And... We can fit eight trains worth, eight times eighty stacks, uh, thirty-two thousand. Theoretically, this should never get over supplied. Oh, and I should definitely be reading how much is in here as well. So that's how many? Well, let's see, three twenty, six forty plus five twelve. Uh, times 1152 stacks times 50 is 57,600. That is oddly familiar. Uh, I want to try this actually. Theoretically, if we set that to exactly what these can hold. It should never go over. We'll call this an experiment. And provide stack threshold 180. I mean just 80. Vazor. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can add the warehouse to the green wire. Yes. Yes, indeed. Very much so. Did you start over after the update and add K2? Uh, yes. 
Well, I finished the uh, last playthrough as well, so the timing was very good. Or well, pretty good. The real gold hand? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I just use the bulk loaders for ore and everything else. I use circuit balance chests. Um, I'm trying to minimize the amount of circuit calculation we have to do for each block this time. Since we went a little over on UPS last time. Just a wee tad bit. Alright, so this is copper provider, copper requester. Stack size 80, train size 4. This is our maximum copper to have here. Uh, provider is simple, just provide stack threshold and train size. I think that's it. Let's update our blueprint. And we've got, it looks like we've got gaps where the loaders should be, but that'll sort itself out. Alright, let's see if we can actually build this. I'm kind of expecting some weirdness with the blueprint when we place the uh, loaders. Must align with rail grid. Does that mean it has to be physically built before it'll work? Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Must align with rail grid, so that's a yes. Um, also, I don't actually have these things on me right now, so there's that. We also need two warehouses. Um, I should probably request those over here. That's a lot of flamethrower turrets. How many do we have? 211. Probably don't need that many anymore. Uh, we do have a warehouse. Should probably aim to have a couple more than that. That was actually shockingly easy to get done. Um, let's crank that up to like 50 for each. Whoops. Uh, and we need the bulk rail loaders and unloaders. Let's say 10 each for now. What's going to be prioritized? These things. Switch that off. I... that rail didn't take long to get delivered. We already have three. Fantastic. All right, we need to go pick up stacking starters, red belts. Oh, I need my robots to actually be active. That might help. Before we say what's missing. Uh, so what's this? 6, 12, 24 industrial furnaces. We'll double it in the other half of the block when we're ready. I could even do iron and copper in the same place if I really wanted to, but I don't think I do. I did think about uh, using Omni Smelting again, but not this time. Especially with the fluids that we're going to be using later. Um, I don't think that's necessarily going to be feasible. Uh, loader. Loader. And what was the other thing? Warehouse? Oh, it only stacks to 20. That's fine, I guess. Remove that little bit of planning scaffolding from the blueprint, and I 
need to order logistic train stops as well. But for now I'll just handcraft a couple. Hi, the name of your train station's output need to be copper plate or copper ore. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but yes, I meant for that to be copper plate. Um, LTN is very agnostic about station names. It's got things in place so that there's... Even if, if you have duplicate stations or give them the wrong names, um, it doesn't actually matter because it deals with that ambiguity by putting a temporary stop at exactly the location that the train needs to go to. Uh, and then after that temporary stop, it has to go to the nearest one of that name. But yes, I did name that one incorrectly. Por I Por Ayur? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did we get... Oh, wow, we've already got 10 of each loader. And more than enough warehouses. Fantastic. Give me whatever this is. I wish I'd remembered the autocrafter sooner, or rather that I had the spare um, requested chests. This is probably going to be way more signals than I'm actually carrying. No, it's only 20. Oh, it's 320 <laughs> chain signals. Okay. Uh, not that we really need signals right now, as long as we only have one train. Yep, that's what I was looking out for. Uh, I hope this isn't going to inhibit... I mean, I guess it is going to inhibit our ability to do certain things remotely. Hmm. I'll have to try and plan for that. I forgot to get the furnaces. Uh, what are we looking for? 24, so more than a stack. And I need way more uh, chain signals. Okay. I'll just pick up the furnaces and save the bots a trip. And what else are they bringing? Signals? How many exactly do I still need? 300. I only requested 250. And the autocrafter seems to have hit a wall building these. Because of the slow logistic bots. Get this out of my inventory, please. I should probably take defender capsules in case I have to go somewhere in a hurry. What's this? Like half the chain signals that we need? Fine. Oh, did I get the furnaces? Yes, I did. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, bulk rail unloaders go... not there, actually. Like this. And what are we... oh, I need to switch this on. 
Also, I need the constant combinator. I'm still forgetting to pick these up. Let's see. Arithmetic. Decider. Constant. And it's not often that I'm doing the autocrafter stuff, so I won't... Whoa. I think LTN is set to verbose mode. LTN provider, priority zero, delivery zero, available 32,000. Copper ore, train to transport, 80 of 60, 140 stacks from here to here. Bound in depot, and so on. Fantastic. Uh, no path, it looks like. Because why? Oh, because there's a signal missing. Our one train on the network can't move because there's a signal missing. Uh, let me... Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, that's bad. What was that? I, I think it was actually a meteor. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that was under our... That was under our point defences. How rude. Oh well. Do you now have puff? Not even a little bit? How do you not have path? Because the signal's missing here, probably. It's because that one's flashing, because these ones haven't been built. Okay. Otherwise it would have a path, I think. Or if that signal wasn't there. Like, if I mark this one for deconstruction, it's no longer trying to be a signal where both sides of it are the same block. But we're just stuck somewhere else now. Which is where? Here? Oh, I see. Yeah, I think as is it would have to, like, go up here first. Anyway, let's pick up some more. We've got another 150. That should just about be enough to finish placing the signals. Media also wanted to bunk you. Indeed. Point defenses are a lie, apparently. I did see them recharging, so they're at least pretending to work. If you rotate all for it to be horizontal and not vertical, maybe the bot... That's an idea. That that might be a really good Aziz idea, actually. Light. Aziz Light? Let's not decon that. Uh, I want to try this real quick. Oh! Uh, Lolilo. Thank you very much for the subs. Very much appreciated. Again, thank you. Another 10? A total of 65. Wow. Uh, I have no words. I'm very, very much appreciative. Thank you. Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Zentoid, welcome also. And HP Crusher. Thank you very much. So what you're suggesting is take the entire blueprint and rotate it. Then we're going to have sideways blueprints. But if it works, I I'm curious to see if it would work at the very least. It does. Hmm. Is this a universe where we build, like, left to right in our rail blocks instead of north to south? Just so that the blueprints will get it right. I notice this wire isn't connected. Is it connected in the blueprint? 
I thought it was. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, if if it's going to fix one thing but break another thing, then I guess we will not worry about that. For the purposes of remotely building or using bots. Kellogg's, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Left to right, north to south, mate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you got me on that one. Oh, we're already smelting? We are already smelting. Very slowly, because it's actually just the wind turbines that are running this right now. And we haven't even placed them all. Uh, but it is working. Let's add a substation right about here. And... I, I need... I need to turn off that uh, LTN mod setting. Is it per player? I don't think so. LTN... I've already done the request and provide thresholds, delivery timeout, and so on. All of the stuff that I would argue is a new trap. Detailed messages we're not looking for. Errors and warnings, probably. We can leave that on for now. A tumbling satellite. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Been lurking since the start of the stream, but gotta say hello for the gift sub, indeed. Oh, hello. Our train is working and trying to kill us. Oh, that is fast. I know it scales with a uh, stack insert a stack size as well, but it's more than fast enough for now. Looks like even if we're on low power, it works very well. So that's something. Anyway, I, I don't have any plans to, like, have this rail block run on its own power network. Um, that was just... That was just so that we would be adding a little bit of power whenever we expand the rail network. I might change that to solar panels later on. Perhaps. Uh, all right, so we have copper at scale, and I think okay, this base hasn't been in motion as much for quite a while, but I think we were suffering on copper. We've still got like oh, that's only four point eight k. 20k. We've, we've got like 800,000 or so copper remaining over here. Maybe the old base can continue to limp along on that so I don't have to like spaghetti some copper in. So we can just stick with the rail base. Do we have the luxury of going to space and not having our military situation deteriorate? I think so. I think we do have time now. So, I wanted to send lots of solid rocket fuel. I already queued that up. What is it? One solid rocket fuel for five sides? And we've got 2.8k science up here already. Did I pack in more? I did not. Uh, that's way more than enough for the signs that we've got up there. Uh, I also wanted to take prod modules this time, so that our science goes a little further. I had them made, or, oh, those are only tier one. Yeah, I remember I switched this off because we got a bit busy. Um, let's make some tier 2s. How many can we fit? 
Only three. Alright, so we need three tier two. That's 150 sulfur. One. Uh oh. Two, three stacks. One, two, three of these. Don't really need the prod ones. And we're ready. What are we going to get with our... What's the prod bonus going to be? 6, 12, 18%. I don't think we have any productivity bonus on science at the moment, do we? Just passively. We do not. Uh, so we're going to get like 2.8 times 8. 2.8k times 18. Uh, 1.18, that is. 3,304 science, plus whatever's in here. Uh, so. We've got a few things we can check off. I think we definitely want to get artillery done, right? We can't get any range upgrades until we have utility science packs. For that, we need to go get cryonite. We could get a better jetpack, that's actually quite cheap. And it's not difficult to make either. So I'll probably do that. Um, we can get express belts, and we don't need anything from space to do it. We'll probably get that. Stack size. Eh, it's really a luxury at this point. It's only plus one. I think that can wait. Nuclear fuel processing, that's just the recycling. It's not Coverex, I'm not too worried about that right now. Cryonite lubricant. That's interesting. Methane ice. I'm not excited about that, to be honest. We should definitely knock off hypercooling. It's a... I was going to say it's a prerequisite. But we already unlocked uh, production science pack and utility science pack. That's weird. It uses thermo fluid, but it. I think that might be an oversight. It uses thermo fluid, but we haven't researched uh, hypercooling yet. Or, no, we already got the... what is it called? I guess the thermal radiator is probably enough. Better personal lasers? Uh, we're really more bottlenecked on power than anything else with the personal lasers. Uh, if we get better laser damage, that would actually help a bit. Energy weapon. Yeah. Oh, we can get that. But first we need quarry mineral extraction, which we should be getting anyway. Okay. Research server. Well, I'm seeing a lot of, like, relatively cheap stuff, plus the artillery. So I don't think we're going to be to what's the word I'm looking for we're not going to be running out of uh, getting this research done for a little while all right checklist uh, we've got all these intermediates lots of solid rocket fuel lots of stone for the science um, I could bring more cargo rocket sections Oh, I've actually stashed them away. Fantastic. Yeah, I think I would like to bring some cargo rocket sections just so that we can maybe do something with the space capsule. Oh, they're bringing me more stuff. Okay. 
Oxygen for space. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. That reminds me, actually, logistic bots. I want 50 logi uh, logistic bots in space, the maximum that we can have without... Um, this is working properly. Uh, the maximum we can have without any bot attrition. Why do we only have two life support canisters? Because we have no copper in here. Because we don't have a request as chest to spare for this. Um, I guess we'll spaghetti over... Wait, what else am I putting in here? Iron... A lot of stuff. Oh wait, we've got glass and iron. Sorry, glass and plastic. Heat shielding, I was manually putting in. We don't need much of it. Steel and copper. Okay. I don't think we've got steel randomly on a belt nearby. But since we need copper in the highest volume, this will help. Yeah. And then... control click. We don't need a whole lot of life support while we're up there, we won't be long. we up to six. That's pretty bad still. Um, I really just wanted to refresh what science we've got up here. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I know what I want to set up. Uh, media point defense. Since it's power hungry, and since it doesn't need ammo resupply that often. Not point defense, uh, defense installations. Let's go for like 20 of those, and I don't know, 500 ammo. Can we stop with the wind turbines for the moment? And the prods, we don't need those, thank you. What do we need here? Copper cable. We don't have... Oh, we do have that. It's right here. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Batteries are on their way as well. I like how the, uh, I like how the chest is animated. Alright, since they're taking so long to get the batteries, I'll give them a hand. And I should probably do the same with blue circuits. Oh, I never got rid of this little spaghetti build. Let's fix that. Where are blue circuits? I think they're down below. Yeah. Hello, bite a friendo. Oh, that's a lot of blue circuits. Beautiful. And... Control click. No? Yes? There we go. Also, have the batteries, have the blue circuits. Have the extra stacks of random things. I'll keep the fuel processors. Is there anywhere for me to go with the cargo, not the cargo, uh, the space capsule. I, I kind of want to go on a gratuitous joyride, to be honest. I know it's going to send us to each orbit. Well, I, I, I imagine, since the first trip that we could do from Nalvis orbit, we have to go to Eshu. Um... We're not going to find resources here except for, like, a bit of stone or something, right? Uh, 
Asteroid belt? You... you what? Touch to capture? Um... Don't mind if I do? We got... An ion engine ship that runs on solar power. 40k ion stream, almost. Uh, yeah, that'll do. That That's... That's a good target. Um, we've got some... Spaceship force sticking out we'll have to pick up. We don't need to take anything with us to fix this, right? Yoink, indeed. Grand Theft Spaceship. By the way, is Buffer Chest connected to Requester LTN Copper Station? Uh, I think so. It wasn't in the blueprint, but I had to manually connect it anyway because I had to manually do the bulk rail loaders. So yeah, you can see that there. Check the chests in the ship. What's in those? Uh, good question. Uh, that's another ion engine. Four clamps. Some walls and floors and doors for the spaceship. Substations. That is pylons. I think... I can't tell which is which, but I'm guessing that's like ten regular pylons. And maybe one substation pylon. Oh, you can see the logistics store. Is that another cryo gun? Well, we already have one. Or is that not what the cryo gun looks like? No, that's the Tesla gun. Oh my lord. Uh, we got some stuff we can make ourselves. Another lab. 200... Uh, 200 science... 600 space science, that's nice. And some fancy blue belt. Also some barrel. Barrel plate. What could we do with 500 barrel plate early? I wonder. Well, whatever the case, uh, we're gonna find out. Is there anywhere else I should go? What about the second asteroid belt? I'm... I'm gonna guess the answer is no, since the first thing we saw when we clicked on the asteroid belt was... the spaceship. And... I don't know, I get the feeling random planet orbits aren't gonna have anything. I could be wrong. We definitely want to go to Hagen. Hagen is going to be where we get our cryonite. Um, we do have Zachhold as well, but it's waterless. Not to mention a lot smaller. Can we get cryonite from somewhere closer temporarily? Oh, I can see it from here. Mm, a, a tiny amount on Rubik. I don't think that's worth the diversion. Yeah, I think we're going to go straight to Hagen to get Cryonite sorted out. So, I should take quite a few... Oh, this is fantastic. Because I'm going to be able to stick all the crap in my inventory in some chests up here. And then, when I use the, uh, the space capsule, it's not gonna... I'm not gonna have a, a inventory count of a million. It's not gonna cost way more fuel. I should definitely take a bunch of cargo rocket sections. I guess we just need enough cargo rocket sections to get to the spaceship, and then after that... We're just going to use them for orbit to planet and back? Question mark? We're not going to need defender capsules while we're there.
is... Is 13 a lot? Let's go get some more life support. I think it was like two uh, cargo rocket sections that it wanted to go from Nalvis to Eshu. So I'm thinking to be super pessimistic, we take at least 20. Well, that's not even super pessimistic. That's a start. We need coal in here. Um, do we have coal in the robot network? We do. But I don't have a requester chest. Oh, I just realized... Uh, we don't get any new chests out of this. Oh, unless you count all the buffer chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, that's actually pretty significant. Um, but let me grab all. I need to sort my inventory out a bit more. We're not taking rail right now. Bots are going to take forever to empty my inventory here, I think. Where even are the logistic bots? Oh, they don't have somewhere to take this? Oh, they, they should. Anyway, let's grab this coal, shove it in here. Um, probably this, actually. Don't need all of these rail signals right now. Okay, can I just put these in here for the moment? And I think I'll f mostly fill the rest of my inventory. I haven't used those second and third big personal batteries in forever. We will need life support, obviously. I don't need electrical components. Where do they go? Wait, electronic components. Didn't I actually need those? There was something I needed these for in space at one point. Maybe I should hold on to a few. Uh, and I'll probably fill the rest of it with cargo rocket sections. Oh, and we're going to get a bunch back just from launching the rocket anyway. Now that I think about it, there should be some up here. There's 23. Okay, I think we're going to have plenty. There are some bots in spaceships, so it looks like it can be repaired remotely. We have to capture it first. Uh, if, if we look at it, if point at it, it says... Touch to capture. So we just have to get there. Um, I could spend more time cleaning up my inventory, but... No, that's not what I meant. Suborning construction bots as logistic bots. Easy peasy. Uh, I think this will do for now. Otherwise, I'll spend too much time on it. Alright, how much life support do I have? 26 seems good. Let's actually put on the life support. And... Waiting for target landing pad to empty. That's kind of a good point. We've got 500 stacks of stuff here. And significantly less than 500 empty slots. Um, that's unfortunate. Do we have any stack inserters that we've already placed? I don't think so. Oh, and there's our water that we can take advantage of. Um, I could... pick a dolly some chests over here to pick stuff up. Otherwise I would have to remove... I don't 
want to even know how many stacks. 610 minus 356 is two. We would need to remove almost half of what's in our rocket. Um, we've got, what, at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 48. Three stacks available. 336. Okay, cool. Let's do that, I guess. And I'm sure there's plenty of room in some of the other chests, but that's sort of beside the point. As long as there's enough room to make room for the ship to land properly. I need to move some inserters over as well. I think the fastest inserters I can borrow are filters, which are equivalent to fast inserters, as opposed to stack inserters. Blacklist nothing. I guess we got rid of all of our scrap. And there's one more. Didn't fill up a whole lot of heavy oil in this container either. Okay. Is that a mod? Yes it is. Piccadollies. Dodara, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uber Skiff, Kappa Beast, welcome also. Cold stuff. Planet Hagen has the cold stuff. Yeah, every time. From what I've seen, I'm guessing that you will always find a planet called Hagen that has cryonite. Uh, moderate, small to moderate size. About as close as possible to the interstellar map uh, in the home system. All right, so we're waiting on we're waiting on having 500 stacks available here, and these guys are picking up iron. <laughs> Maybe I should get them to pick up things with smaller stack sizes first. Rocket fuel. Where is it? So we need 500 stacks available. Actually more than 500 to make sure, because we're going to get some of the uh, cargo rocket sections back. Probably like 20 or so I would guess, since that's what we had up here. So, 610 minus, like, 520. We need to be at, like, 90 or less stacks of stuff in this uh, landing pad. I think I'll take another cargo landing pad with me. We have those automated question mark? Well, I think I, I think I made at least one extra, even if I didn't automate it, actually. Yeah, it's on its way. We'll just put that down empty so that we can definitely get back up there easily next time. Or maybe I should just... I think we've got enough stuff up there for the most part for a while. Maybe I should just use the capsule next time. Gray is okay. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Blacklisted fuel. Oh no. Oh no. 
that's going to make it take slightly longer to find room. I'll swap one of these out once they're full. Actually, I'll blacklist nothing on this one until... Apparently it can't pick up any more. Okay. Got all the lubricant barrels. Alright, solid rocket fuel first. What's taking damage? Oh, the same wall as always. Okay. Uh... I know I should set up flamethrower turrets before I go here, but I don't feel like it. That's my only reason. Let's pretend we didn't see this. It's fine. Did I not get my cargo landing pad delivered? I definitely saw this go yellow before. Are we all in the same robot network? It looks like it. Cargo landing pad. Huh? Alright, I guess it doesn't exist. Cargo... Oh, I almost forgot this as well. Alright, cargo landing pad. We need radars. We have those here. Why did it just switch? Whatever. One more, please. Thank you. And then a whole bunch of steel. It's only a problem if you look. Yeah. What biters are these? Rampant is the name of the mod. Uh, those biters specifically that we're definitely not looking at are regenerative biters, fast biters, and I think common biters. The yellows are fast, the white ones are common, which pretty much just means unchanged from default, I think. Rege regenerative, regenerative Worm Overlord T8, yikes. Uh, the regenerative ones are pretty bad at attacking. They're very slow, they hit very, very, very hard. They regenerate, they're weak against fire. They take a lot more effort to destroy their nests than, I think, any other type of biter. Alright, did we get our cargo? No? Here we go. And I wanted to take... Oh, that's a lot of stacks. I forgot they stacked to just one. Um, we don't need any regular belt. We don't need any non-space belt. Also, let's put the shelter here. I forgot that that is where we respawn. Alright. So we should have room now for our media defense installations. Did we get any ammo for it? I don't think so. There we go. Does artillery solve all problems? Uh, it solves some problems. With nuke shells, yikes. I think we can do that in this mod set. Shell? 
Nuclear artillery shell. Uh, artillery shell, rocket control unit, steel, and 10 uranium. 235. Artillery shell is... I think that's the same as it's always been, but the graphic is different. We can also make antimatter artillery shells. Uh, and the nothing is because we can destroy anything we want with a crusher. Oh, let's take this. Fantastic. I actually don't want you to focus on that right now. Please give more ammo. Don't really need any wooden chests. Um, don't need warehouse, storehouse right now. And why do I have two stacks of steel chest? Get out of here. Don't need 40 industrial furnaces either. Or any for that matter, since we're going to space. I could use crafting combinators, actually. Uh oh. That's a little scary. I think it would be less scary if... Wow, okay, how many attacks do you need to make? Holy crap. <sighs> how far out do I need to kill them? That is terrifying. They don't like you, you don't say. Murray PD, Akira DK, Obi, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. You might want to go help, yeah, I think I should bring ammo and repair packs. Um, let's swap out the life support for the moment. We need fuel, I was just about to run out. And ammo. More ammo. Turn on the pollution in the map, then you know. Actually, the pollution stops here. This is way, 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 way up here. Uh, rampant does not follow the same rules. Pollution definitely makes it worse, though. And here I thought if we just push them back past the wall far enough, especially past the pollution, um, you know, we could have all of this territory and just concentrate on our rail base. Where's the damage? Oh, let me put the ammo here first. There's the damages. Repair the tree, as you do. I don't particularly want my bots to jump out and die, but there's a lot to repair. I think in this mod the biters globally look for a weak spot and attack there in addition to getting triggered. I'm not sure about the exact mechanics. I'm hoping that if we push them back far enough, uh, their attacks will be reduced or stopped. But I don't want to have false hope on that front. Alright. 
as soon as the ammo finds its way over, it's actually taking a little while. It's almost a screen away. Should we go counterattack? All of our stuff sh Oh, I didn't bring the defender capsules. I guess that's a no then. We'll just hold the line until... Oh. So I guess instead of sending one attack, it just sends a series of attacks at the same spot. Because we haven't changed anything here. Unless they responded to me repairing the walls? Because if they sense that they're doing a bunch of damage and that causes more attacks to be queued up, maybe it can also sense that damage is getting undone? I don't know. However the heuristic works, you'd want to make sure it doesn't cost that much to calculate. Alright. Let's get ready to go to space. Loader on ammo chest? That's not the worst idea. I don't have a loader on me at the moment, though. Uh, I could craft one, as it turns out. It will take more ammo to saturate both sides of the belt. Uh, I could just do this. There we go. Okay. We have 13 media defense installations. Zero ammo for them. I hope we've got some uh, stockpiled by the time we get back. The turrets aren't actually taking... Okay, one of the turret took a little scratch. Maybe I should put some lasers there before we go. I wonder how long... I would imagine it works like the cargo rocket and sort of teleports us. I expect the trip with the uh, space capsule won't take that long. But then we have to come back with a ion ship powered by solar with laser turrets. That could take a minute. So I'll definitely beef up these defenses a little bit more before I go. Do we not have more jetpack? Oh, right. Well, now that we're here, I'll let the bots do some repairs. And is this on the same power network? It is not yet. good. That's going to help a lot. Okay. And should I go do something about this? Uh, probably just add some more lasers up here, maybe? Is it on, on the same power network? It is... What? What are my bots doing? Oh, those got left behind before, probably, maybe? No, I don't know where they would have... Maybe they were repairing something that got scratched by media. Three minutes to be exact, I did it the other day? Oh, okay. It, wait, is that getting there in the cargo? Uh, the space capsule? Or... Getting back with the... Uh the ion ship.
Can you explain the auto crafting with different recipes? Sure. So we have a mod called Crafting Combinator. And basically what we're doing is sending a circuit network signal to a blue thing that looks like a, a constant combinator, which is pointed at uh, an assembly machine. And if we send it a signal that says iron gear wheel, the assembly machine will try to craft iron gear wheels. If we send it a signal that says iron stick, it'll try to craft iron sticks and so on. There's also a combinator that comes with that mod called recipe combinator, which you can set to output the inputs of whatever recipe. So if you send it iron stick, it'll say iron plate. Um, and then we are reading from the robot network to see how much stuff we've got. We multiply that by negative one. We have positive signals for what we want. We add those to the negatives. And we end up with a list of stuff that we're trying to craft. Right now, the only thing, because I've turned some of these off, uh, the only thing that's positive is media defense installation ammo. But if there was more than one thing, let's say like this, um, we use the anything greater than zero output anything. Uh, that will arbitrarily pick just one signal. Um, out of the list of signals that's going into it that's positive. So it's sending out the uh, the signal for year one prod modules. Um, so that's how we pick just one recipe from all of these. And then we have set requests on a requester chest with the recipe combinator. And that's basically it. To get back with the ship. Okay. Dorek, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're up to 67 media defense installation ammo. Fantastic. Um, do we have scaffolding up here? I think we do. We've got a grand total of 200 scaffolding and 200 space platform plating. I think the spaceship has some more. Uh, one, that's spaceship floor. So the answer is no. Um, but now this orbit. I guess I could run power all the way over here. What I'm thinking about is, do we have room for, like, 13 of these? Oh, these are bigger than I thought compared to these little islands. Where does this... Oh, there we go. That doesn't actually fit. Alright, without any scaffolding, we could put 14 here pretty easily. Or 15, or maybe 16. Arranged in such a way that we can just use an inserter to pass the ammo through all of them. So we're going to put down a bunch of solar panels. How much power would this cost? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, let's find out. That might help. When it is charging. 20 megawatts. And I believe it's 10 megawatt when it is charged. So call it 140 megawatts. We've got... 16.8, and we're using... Huh. We do need more solar panels. Does the ship give us some? Or should I take up some crappy ones? The ship does give us four. 
That's not enough. Okay. So, regular solar panels? Uh, 467 kilowatts. Hmm. It's 10,000 kilowatts, right, to maintain one of these? 467. We need 20, let's call it 22 solar panels. Oh, that's kind of a lot. 22 solar panels for each. We'll call it one stack for every two stacks. Um, so this is 12. Oh, that would be 14. Uh, 13. And this is 20, 33. Uh, not like that. If we've got 13... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we can actually fit that in our inventory. But can we fit it upstairs somewhere? How many solar panels is this? Uh, 1,000... Plus 300, 1,300. Yikes. Okay. Um... I don't think we can fit 1,300 solar panels with the space that we're going to have. How much would this be? 100. Okay. Maybe we'll just not have as many media defense installations just yet. Even if it only shoots down some to start with, that'll be helpful. Atog, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it better to put planetary defense at Nalvis instead of orbit and swap location later? Eh, maybe. I mean, we've only got 2.8 gigawatts. Um, but that is a little bit misleading because we've got a steam battery. What's our... Let's pretend that we don't have the steam turbines because we should. Well, actually, why don't I just arbitrarily disconnect them? Um, instead I'll do it this way. Okay. We've got 351 megawatts at the moment. Three fifty one megawatts. And this wants uh ten megawatts to idle, right? Yeah, ten megawatts to idle. It's like half of our power right now. But we would be able to resupply the ammo and we could just spam more solar panels, I guess. Yeah, I think it might actually be better at the moment just because scaffolding we can't make it uh, down here. How do I make it? Can I make it already? I think so. LDS heat shield steel plate. I can make it out of things that I've already taken a lot of up there. Except the sheer volume of it, it's going to cost a lot. And then we still need the logistics to resupply the ammo. Yeah, I'm glad I did the math before doing this. 
because the scale of it uh, is really not going to work in our favor right now. Could I maybe... I don't think so. Get like 10 of these here and just direct insert that. Well, where would I put them? Not here, I suppose. About here, maybe? That might be surprisingly good. How many can I fit in a line? Twelve? Twelve is pretty good. Yeah, let's do this. We've got we've got the ammo automated right here. I'll just belt spaghetti it. Alright, so we need a filter inserter. Where is this going to squeeze through? Probably like this. Uh, red underground. Inserters. And I might have to extend the Robo network or just build some of those manually. Give me some yellow inserters. And some power. This is so tacky, but whatever, it gets it done. We can focus on other things. Sifa Cat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Professional Dave, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. We need some corners on this. And we need whitelist. Uh, media defense installation ammo. There we go. And we are 90% charged on the first one. Oh, we need some power. There we go. Cat has shuffled? Cat has shuffled? Oh no. <laughs> I see, I see. Alright, I think unless biters are about to steamroll us, we are ready to go back into space for a little bit. That's looking a bit damaged. I'll definitely reinforce that later. That's looking much better. That's looking much better. It has two cats. Uh, why is my... Why, why are my commands not working? Okay, that works. But I didn't update it properly. But I didn't update. Whoops. Update it. Y you heard nothing. Whoops. But it's, it's fine. Nope. Nope. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, Cloudbot. What's the name of it? Streamlabs. Don't. The mods command is an alias, so I don't know why, like, Factorio mods didn't work. Commands. 
Oh, Mods Factorio and Mods Terraria. I was trying to organize them alphabetically, but screw that. Probably should have remembered that. Alright, now it's called Factorio Mods. There we go. Also, you can always see them if you scroll down. T-Hacks, did Biters stop revenge attacks? Uh, for the, for, for the moment? Or rather, they rescheduled them, I guess. We had, like, a stream of, like, six... Uh, f six groups of fast biters, at least. Attacking one after the other, coming down here earlier. They're getting ready to do it again, or something like that. So let's pretend we didn't see that and go to space. Wait, I wanted to get more cargo rocket sections. Oh, and I also need to check, did we finish emptying, or not emptying, but sufficiently emptying this? We did not. Okay. So we've only got the one cargo rocket, uh, cargo landing pad up there right now. And it is not quite empty enough that we might not make a mess. So we're trying to fix that before we go. They may be amassing an even stronger fist to punch through your wall. Yes. Unironically. Alright, that should probably be enough. Whoops. And... Yeah, I think we're just waiting now on this getting down to about 90 stacks. Assuming it will, in fact, get down to about 90 stacks. I think I did the math on that. We can definitely speed it up a bit more. Some of these are going to be full. down to 153. What's the least full chest we've got here? Probably the glass. Oh, definitely this one. I was quite surprised at the scale from doing the math as to throwing down solar panels to power our ED defense installations up there. Does Piccadilly allow you to sweep resources from the floor with a chest? Uh, I think they might. I don't have an... oh, I do have an example up here. Can we find one that's not... Oh, okay, let's borrow this one. What the... Uh... That's... That's a no, and the actual results are quite surprising. <laughs> just pushing it around a bit, but it refuses to... I guess it'll just swap places with something, is how that works. I don't know why it came from here down to here. But, uh, now you know. Multiplayer soccer. <laughs> Indeed. 
One of the more fun things with Piccadollies and Navsat is you can move trees around. Uh, and I think, I think I heard it was patched, actually, but let's find out. No, you, you can move Bidenists. You, you can do that. Do we have a Bidenist that's particularly close to a turret? Not really. Oh, uh, yeah, we kind of do. Alright, you, sir, are going on a magical journey. Just have to avoid pointing at anything else that Piccadillies can move around. Do you think this will upset the biters? It's possible. Not updated yet, I see. Uh, yeah, I do have auto updates switched off now that it, now that you mention it. Because I do not want to be halfway through, like a space exploration playthrough, and have something break. Well, there you go. Why are there common biters here? That's weird. Oh, they're amassing here from another nest? To, like, support this nest? Where are they even coming from, though? These are all... regenerative. It's probably this lot. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, how are we in orbit? 86 stacks. We should be fine now. Probably. Let's get on our life support. Your UPS is going to be crucified by those biters. That's why we're going to kill them. RV Puck, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's going to take a while to clear Nalvis, of course, but I'm not going to tolerate surfaces with biters on them that we haven't, like, deleted surface. Alright, here we are. And, uh, Quizzy Doom, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I would like to organize things a bit better. Oh, I don't need this for the moment. Let's grab all of this stone. Make sure we don't run out of that. Blue circuits. Or processing units. I didn't actually bring any more. I think I calculated and found that we're not going to run out of those for a while. Um, rocket. Solid rocket fuel was the number one Thing we were going to run out of. And we want to prod module this. Fantastic. Oh, where did I... I put this in the wrong place. Why is there even a chest there, actually? And let's do some research. Better jetpack. Logistics 3. Hypercooling, perhaps. I definitely want the artillery. I need to learn to make lithium sulfur batteries. I want to improve my armor. Which just means learning to make lithium, which is... Lithium chloride, and we get some chlorine back. Lithium chloride is mineral water plus hydrogen chloride. We know how to make hydrogen chloride, and I think mineral water we just mine directly. 
from a deposit. Okay. Cool. Uh, we can get effect transmission? No, we can't. Alright. Let's get this and this and... I don't think we can do energy weapon damage, can we? Energy. Energy weapon damage. Oh yeah, we can. We need the quarry mineral extraction for some reason. And then, is that all of the combat relevant stuff? Tier 3 prod just needs vulcanite block that we don't have yet. Efficiency needs cryonite. I should probably start making space platform scaffolding as well. It's only a hundred. Automation 3 would be nice. Especially since we're starting to use modules. Uranium ammo would probably be a really good idea, actually, and a higher priority. Uh, artillery. And do we not have condenser turbine yet? Do we particularly need it yet? I wouldn't mind having the fluid isothermic generators. Two megawatts. That might be better for an emergency battery. Ooh, it's not very efficient. Never mind. We can't upgrade the artillery at all. Oh, destroyer. I should get that first, I think. Alright, so this is everything, I think it's everything we can get without current research uh, that will help, apart from laser shooting speed, uh, that will help with the biters. Now then, where's our space capsule? Oop. We're going to Calidus Asteroid Belt number one. And I guess we can't exactly plot a course. Eshu orbit outbound from Nalvis. That requires two cargo rocket sections. If we need two for each leg, it's like two, four, six. This is probably more. Eight, ten. I think we should bring twenty just to be safe. Whoops. Cargo capacity, it seems like... It's only the cargo rocket sections that are required for this stage that don't get counted. And we need solid rocket fuel, we've still got plenty of that here. Whoops. I think the fuel at least was mercifully not counted. And then we need to stick all of this stuff in our inventory down here. I definitely wanted to leave 50 logistic bots up here. Uh, what else? Oh, and construction bots actually. I should probably bring some with me to the spaceship. I might hold on to my power armor things. I'll definitely want repair packs. Don't throw away the life support canisters. Uh... I don't think I need a combinator, question mark. I want to leave a, a 
extra cargo landing pad here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm pretty sure this isn't automated, but let's make sure. Launch trigger manual. Okay, cool. Uh, and then... A traveling light. Wind turbine in space, Lamel. That seems reasonable. We should have way more fuel than we need. Right, right. 40 fuel for this one trip. Uh, 40, 80, 120, 160, 200 or so, maybe? We've got 230. That would seem to be more than enough. But... I would feel better if we had even more than that. My cargo capacity is too high. Or my, my... what I'm carrying is too much. It's actually still too much. Um... I need to drop six stacks. Repair packs... med... all the med packs. What are we down to? Three to go. Hmm. Armor, personal roboports. And one more. One more. Laser turrets. Horizon effect. Thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. 12 months. Wow. I almost can't believe I've been doing this for 12 months. Thank you so, so much. And good to see you again. Fantastic. Alright, let's, uh... The research is being done. Yes, indeed. Let's head out, I suppose. Oh, I should probably repair this. Perfect. You should install a roboport in your suit. I don't want to have less life support. And it'll be a short trip. Then again, picking up the, uh... I guess we don't need the personal battery. That's a good point. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. What's taking damage? That's terrible. How did you get here? This happened, this happened before, and I looked everywhere, and I found one spot that they maybe could have slipped through. Do they have their own spider medias? Is that what this is? The only places they could have got through, they would have got shot at, and I don't see them ignoring a turret. And they do, in fact, self-destruct. Fascinating. I I would really like to see how this happens in the first place. And why here? There's no other... There's no purple nests around here, right? Oh my... Oh my goodness. Uh... That's some chitinous horror. Okay. Let, let's go get a spaceship. Launch disabled, why? Oh, because my inventory, I messed it up again. Uh, we don't need armor. We don't need extra personal robot ports. We don't need this. We probably don't need this, or this, or this, or this. How about now? Cargo capacity. Alright, this is it. Choose coordinates? Does it... I guess it doesn't matter as we're going to issue for now. Launch. Hey, Matrim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a job for a nuke, indeed. 
WestDX, good to see you again. I haven't actually seen anything in issue orbit, so I guess we have to pick Eleusis next. Eleusis orbit outbound from Nalvis. Okay. Launch. That's a job for the Inquisition. Burn everything and start again. Why are you not going to the belt? Uh, we can't go to the belt in one hop with this. Outbound from Nalvis, we're going to Sofurna Orbit. Uh, what? What? I was just trying to peek at, like... No, I didn't mean to view that surface. Delete surface. I was trying to look at the, uh, orbit that we just landed at. Alright, where are we now? Sofuma orbit, I believe. And it looks like we have to have one more hop before we can go to the asteroid belt. Exorion, I think. Yeah, Exorion Orbit outbound from Calidus. Is that a change with Crastorio? Uh, I think it's just point 0.6 of space exploration that we can fly around in a space capsule like this. So next we're going to the Asteroid Belt, I think. Calidus Asteroid Belt 1 outbound from Calidus. And I meant to check how much fuel uh, we were burning as well. The answer is most of it, as expected. But there is a spaceship. I wouldn't exactly say it's our spaceship, because we haven't stolen it yet. Although, I suspect its original occupants are not around to complain. Um, let's pick that up. And this as well. I guess we did get some scaffolding from the ship this ruin. Oh. I think we just captured one door but not the other. Much to capture. Gimme gimme. All of it please. Yes, 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 yes. Is this all ours now? I think it is. Beautiful. Uh, we'll need to clean up this bit of stuff sticking out over here. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to remove this little bit of. We probably wouldn't lose the ion stream, but I don't want to risk it at all. Oh, there's a robot with butts in it. Nice. Pick that up, pick that up, and I believe this is a functioning ship. Hull stress, 242 out of 300. I would, if we got here and then it said you need more research for this to work, I would be absolutely devastated. I think there's a spare engine slash panel in the chests. Uh, there's a couple of panels, and yes, there's a spare engine, but we're not going to have the energy to support it. The minimum power consumption from an ion engine is already 333k, um, but when it actually fires, it's 10 megawatts. We have uh, 2.8 megawatts. We'll get another 25% of that with another flat solar panel. So we, we're gonna... If we have another iron engine, we're gonna bottleneck on power even more just because of that 
333 kilowatts that's going to waste. But I will put down the extra solar. Why don't we try repairing this symmetrically? Maybe I'll redesign this a little bit later, but for now... That looks pretty... not quite. Like this. Fantastic. I think that's as symmetrical as it gets, right? Can't flip it with an engine. Yeah, I think that's as good as it gets. Oh, we have a lot of life support in here, that's nice. And a beacon. Minimum 100 kilowatts? I can't actually remember what the basic beacons were like in 0.5 without K2, now, now that you mention it. 100 kilowatts from the beacon seems incredibly cheap, actually. Okay, maybe not incredibly, but it is very cheap. Tesla gun, that's going to help a lot. I mean, one stack of this isn't going to last very long, but still. Oh, and if we remove chests... I guess our hull stress is already above our container stress, so it doesn't actually matter right now. If I remember right, I made it in one hop. Might have been from the frozen planet. Oh, okay. Uh, This one? Happens to be frozen. Alright, let's head back to Nalvis Orbit. And... Before we do, since I know we're going to bottleneck on... Electricity... We're going to output a signal for... Speed signal based on accumulator charge. And... So our target speed will be 100, and then when this is not fully charged, our target speed is going to drop. So that should... That should mean that we equalize at a safe speed. Probably. It seems the lasers are having no trouble keeping up as we're accelerating. What are we at? 60? Oh, we're dropping. Yep, yeah. okay, cool. So it doesn't seem like it's gonna accelerate so fast when the accumulator is full at the start that it's just gonna go fast into some asteroids. Um, we could definitely remove some of these laser turrets because they have minimum consumption that's also slowing us down. In fact, 100 kilowatts each. All, three of these is almost like another ion engine. But I don't want to remove too many. Probably... Probably the ones at the back... Are a bit superfluous? What's our speed now? 33? I think that's about all we can reasonably expect. Oh, we're actually like a third of the way home already. Canary Prospector. Okay. Uh, and yeah, this will also sort things out whereby the further we get from the sun, the slower it is safe to go. Let's make it symmetrical. Could I fit another flat? I definitely could. I'd have to move a couple of things around a bit. Hey, Ben Wu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, 
so if I made the ship smaller, we'd go a bit faster as well, but I'm not overly concerned about that. It would be more fuel efficient. We've already used like probably 10% of all of the ion stream that we have because we started at like 9.8k in these tanks. So we're not... We really need to use this sparingly until we can make Iron Stream for ourselves. Uh, we need Particle Accelerator. Which is... Particle Accelerator... We just need Utility Science Packs, actually. It's, a, it's just behind Laser Facility. Just 200 research once we get utility. Dear God, the best mod would be if this went into FTL. You think that was what they were going for with this ship layout? I, th I think it's plausible. It does look a lot like FTL, yeah. I bet... I don't know... Oh. Yeah, I would have to I would have to double check, but the more I look at it, uh this floor layout right here. This is like what, the engine room? I think this was the healing room for the first ship. Uh the 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 console is a lot bigger than the like piloting room normally is. Amagor, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Energy beams when? Uh, at least seven minutes. Very much reminds me of the default ship. Yeah. Yeah, they did a good job of that, now that I notice it. They did add more lasers than the default ship could possibly have, but I'll I'll let it slide. It's fine. The Kestrel, yes. Should we call this the Kestrel? If I do, I'm gonna be sad if I tear it up to do something a bit more efficient with what little we've got. I don't particularly want to mess around with tearing it up when we've got this very finite ion stream for now. Uh, and it's not like... Well, that iron stream will go further if we make the hull stress go down. But, like, we're gonna get less than ten trips going from place to place before we make iron stream anyway, so... I, I don't think it's really worth worrying about. Where did you get the ship? Uh, right about here. The first thing we saw when we clicked on Halidus Asteroid Belt. Oh, and we're already back to Nervous Orbit. Fantastic. I think I'll park it right about here. And I think now is a really good time for a break, actually. Let's queue up some words on stream. I asked about something in January and answer was five minutes. Those five minutes took until April. No. no. All right. Uh, autopilot, copy link, and... This goes here. That's time dilation for you, indeed. Did I save it? I think I saved it. Yeah, Let, let's double save it. Why not? All right, we're going to start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and see you soon.
Fantastic. All right, let's continue with some SpaceX, shall we? Where were we? Um, I think that's checked everything off my list for the moment. We've got thousands of signs queued up. Uh, we've got a spaceship from the asteroid belt. We've got our media defense installations set up. And I th think we just keep taking it to the biters and expanding our rail network now. Uh, where's my cargo? My space capsule? There we go. I guess I am leaving a lot of this stuff in orbit now. Which is probably fine. Should probably place these where they need to go. We got a hundred Vulcanite for free. That might help a little bit. And we got a regular fuel refinery? I don't think we can make these. Coal and heavy oil can stay here, so can the pipes. Cargo landing pad. Delivery cannon chest. I probably should set up delivery cannon chests for the signs. I think we've got two here already. And no doubt I could build another one. If I use, well no, I definitely should use a signal transmitter. I only actually need one. Except we'd have to do a bunch of manufacturing up here. Because we can only send basic stuff with a cannon. Uh, I don't feel like doing that right now. The other option is to use loaders to put everything into a warehouse. Uh, yes. We're going to use the space capsule to go back home for the moment. I don't know if it would even allow me to land this on Nalvis. But if it did... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would actually. Uh, if it did... We would be stuck, because Ion Engine isn't going to take off from there. What else do we have in here? Clamps. One pylon substation and ten pylons. Some more Holmium accumulators, why not? And... We could do a little redesign of this ship. But I don't really have anywhere to go with it right now. Well, that might be a lie. Should we go to Hagen? I'm terrified as to what will happen to Nalvis if I go to Hagen for long enough. That's why I'm not going to go to Hagen just yet. But we have all these materials, uh, intermediate products. We've got a decent amount of storage space we can put things in this ship. 262 container stress. Oh, let me take all of the green chests. Uh, where's my... Where are my steel chests that I brought? Here's some. Nice. Uh, but yeah, we've got like, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, question mark? We could do 10 chests, 480 stacks, without going above the hull stress, so it's going to be the same fuel cost. Except, 
I think even if we're just going down to the planet... Oh, cargo capacity infinite. Okay. If we take a space capsule from orbit to the planet, it doesn't cost extra fuel no matter how much stuff we're carrying? Question mark? Fuel 21. Fuel 19. It does cost extra fuel, but there's no limit on the cargo capacity. 19. We can fit uh, quite a lot of fuel. So if I take... Let's take like 10 cargo rocket sections just to be safe. From Hagen orbit to Hagen. And a bunch of solid rocket fuel. Zero biters, that's nice. Let's scan the surface. Our save is going to get a bit bigger, but it's not really going to affect UPS or anything. Uh, we've got copper, iron, coal, stone, holmenite, and obviously a lot of cryonite right close to the origin point. Mineral water as well. We've got water. We've got crude oil. Uh, yeah, we could definitely... Maybe I should make Hagen my main base. In fact, maybe Hagen could be my main base surprisingly early. Because we've got literally everything that we everything we've got on Nalvis, we've got on Hagen. Um, I think. Rare metals, uranium. A little bit of rare metals. Immersite cave. Immersite cave, I haven't seen one of those yet. And we have zero biters. Uh, the size of Hagen is 3,800, whereas Nalvis is 56 or 5,700. But Nalvis is huge, like, as far as building our base is concerned. So we could have a main base... Uh-oh. This is fine, actually. Oil? Oi? Silent Storm? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't particularly want to, like, abandon Nalvis to the Biters and uh, have a harder time removing them later. But we'd have a main base that's closer, to, that's about as close as it gets to the interstellar map. Without it being Asteroid Belt 2, which I don't want to do because we don't benefit from prod modules. Um, we'd have a smaller planet. We'd have our Cryonite. I'm seriously considering packing up and heading for Hagen already. No oil on Hagen? I think there is. I think I checked. Yeah, crude oil. And worst case, we would get it from uh, core mining. It'd be a bit of a trickle. But no, we do have a decent amount there. Um, we wouldn't have a oil core fragment planet so close by, but I never really did end up exploiting those as much as I thought I would. So downsides. Excuse me. Less rare metals, less, uh, what, iron and copper. Except we don't have to fight for any of our resources. And we've got... Let's see. Exactly how much radius we've got to play with. Yeah, 
It's going to take a moment to find the edge of it, I think. Yep, there it is. We've got this much radius to play with. On a planet that appears to be mostly just flat ground. Could we even ask for a better planet to start our rail blocks? Realistically, I don't think so. And we won't have to put any effort whatsoever into defense. I'm very seriously considering going to Hagen, like, real soon. Um, we'd take the spaceship there, use... I mean, this is what I was thinking about to make the outpost. Take the spaceship there, use a space capsule to get down. Um, stuff our inventory full of useful things. Since going from orbit down to the planet, for some reason we have infinite cargo capacity. Uh, we can almost fit... Well, if we don't count our own inventory, uh, we can fit almost a cargo rocket of stuff in the spaceship, but with no chance of losing it. And it'll be cheaper to get into orbit. I'm not thinking of many downsides here, or any strong downsides. Uh, Quedrill, thank you for the follow. Well, welcome, hope you're doing well. We can now make better jetpacks. In fact, I don't even have to go downstairs to do it. Let's pick up our jetpacks here. Well, let's pick up all of this. Uh, and we need some LDS, Red Circuit, Big Electric. That's actually surprisingly easy. Where are our LDS? One, two. What was the other thing? Oh, another regular jetpack. Uh, green circuit steel plate. Steel plate. I'm going to have to look somewhere else for this. There we go. Um, so this, like, gives us twice as much thrust for the 2x2. Two two. It got the same resources plus cryonite but each individual one is much lower than on Nalvis. Yeah, but we've got the whole planet. Um, with its total lack of biters and almost total lack of cliffs and almost total lack of water hazards as well. So I think despite the resources being stretched a bit thinner, um, we're going to be able to exploit them much more quickly overall, much more easily. Um, I think it's worth it. What are we, why are we not researching right now? There's no, there's no what? Oh, military tech cards. Oh, I never brought those. Oh, no, most of the things I wanted to research. Okay. That's unfortunate. Can we make them up here? Is that unreasonable? Electronic components. I don't think I brought those. Yeah. That's a shame. What are we researching instead? Probably everything that doesn't need military tech cards or production or utility science packs. What is this? Nuclear locomotive. That's surprisingly early in the tech tree. 
Um, all right then. Let's. I, I guess our military priorities are going away as well. If we're just going to run off to Hagen. Well, it is probably more there than it is on Nalvis, which is kind of nice since oil is a great source of power, indeed. Uh, logistics. Ooh, we get faster bots already. But, yeah. Uh, yes. Sign me up. Fantastic. What's this? Additional... Advanced additional electric engine. I already tried one of these and I was very disappointed. The weaker version, that is. Advanced exoskeleton. I don't remember unlocking exoskeleton. Huh? Did we unlock exo? Oh, we did. It's green. Well, there you go, but it's 2 by 4 and our our grid looks like this. So we could maybe have one and it'd be eating power all the time and we'd hardly feel the boost. 20% solar on Hagen sounds right. Yeah, that's true. That's true, but we've got literally all of the space on the world without having to fight for any of it. And we can probably get to nuclear. When can we get to nuclear? I mean... Uh, here we go. Nuclear reactor? We've already got it, technically. But we don't have cover eggs. I think it'll be worth trying. I should try not to just lose Nalvis so easily. Alright, what if we go back to Nalvis, clear the biters even further from where the walls are, and then go to Hagen? Either way, the early steps to get an outpost going on Hagen are about the same. So, let's do that. Let's head back to Nalvis for now. Um, once again, I'm going to be leaving a lot of stuff in space. We needed water, but did we run out of water? Uh, not exactly, but we will. Water. Where's our space pipe? It's in here somewhere. There it is. Did we get given any underground space pipe, or we, do we just make that ourselves? Space pipe. Realistically, nuclear, you kind of need production signs for coverix. Yeah, I kind of figure. It looks like plastic will be a problem, but a lot of other nice things will be available. Plastic will be a problem? Uh, coal is very limited, that's true. I, I see 17k. This is only 283k. 327k, 66, all right, but again, we have access to the entire planet, although if this is only 100k up here and we can see the edge of the planet, yeah, coal could be an issue. We should probably try not burning so much of it. Spam solar panels as early as possible, I guess. We do have core mining. I could try and just... Hmm. 
it, it's it's like a, it's an exponential function of growth. If I put more into coal mining and solar and coal mining and solar, we end up with not so much of a trickle for our infinite source. We'll probably hoover up, like, most of the coal that's on the surface. I mean, we'll eventually hoover it all up, I'm sure. But because at least some resources are so limited, we should probably focus on that. Alright, let's get some underground pipe down here. And... I guess here. That actually lines up really well. And then we need uh, six. Do you get coal from coal mining? Yes, asterisk. Um, so coal mining, I'm pretty sure double checked this since the update. I don't think this part is different uh, from before, but core mining any other type of core fragment, you will get back some regular core fragments, the kind that you get from Nalvis, uh, and that will include coal. But it'll be a bit slow, so in the short term we're definitely going to be using up the coal that's on the surface. We should probably try to get coal from somewhere else in relatively short order. Is that two? Two moons that give us iron. Well, they're very small anyway. Bite of Meteors on that one, Waterless on that one. This one's got Iridite, Rare Metals. I don't think we have a coal core fragment planet in our system. But when I, some of my early outpost ideas in the last save, I was doing core mining and processing on the spot and just exporting the main ingredient. But uh, dealing with the excess stuff, we could in Crestorio 2 just throw everything that's excess in the crusher. But dealing with the excess stuff was a problem, and coal was one of the main culprits. Okay. Um, what other options do we have for power? It's really just... I mean, we can spend wind turbines. Do we get different values for this on different planets? Because if we get 20 kilowatts from this on Hagen, it's probably just straight up better than a solar panel even during the day. Gas power station? 4.5 megawatts. What does it take as an input? Do we have recipes? No? Do we just feed it fluids? Whoops. Where, where are we? Okay. Cheat pipe. Uh, crude oil. No? Liquid rocket fuel? Does it tell us in the description? Burns fluid to produce energy, inefficient but easy. Oh, it's got crude oil in it now. Okay, so what's this? 12.5... 4.5 megawatt maximum. Do we get a multiplier or something from different fluids? What kind of fluids can we put in? Uh, we tried crude. Petroleum works. C4. 
six per second. Oh, fuel pollution, 125%. Fuel value, 900 kilojoules. Petroleum gas temperature... Alright. So, if we... Uh, fuel value two megajoules. Okay, so it's like it's like putting stuff into a boiler for a steam engine. Uh, it just depends on how much energy is in there. It needs either petroleum gas or biodiesel. Biodiesel. Bio sludge contaminated. Beryllium hydroxide, biomethanol, I don't suppose that's what you mean, oh no, that works. Alright, something to bear in mind, but I definitely want to see what the wind turbine strength is on Hagen, because that might be the way to go for the moment. Alright, where are we right now? We're still sitting here gormlessly in orbit. What did our UPS drop? Uh, I know we're scanning Hagen, but cannot insert infinity... Wait, what? Oh, I think it was trying to put everything from the lab into my inventory and then figuring out that it couldn't, I guess. All right, let's go do what we can to sort out Nalvis so that it doesn't just get wiped, basically. Oh, did I connect that water? Yeah, I did. That's not going to run out for quite a long time. Uh, cargo rocket sections can go here. There's also some in here. could put anything that I'm going to take to Hagen in the ship already. I don't want to spend too long sorting my inventory right now, though. Let's just dump everything except for precious weapons and roboports and stuff. Oh, uh, space science packs, get in there. This is why I had this extra chest here before. That should be fine. Alright, I think that is... just about everything. Oh, I'll need some processed fuel in case this thing lands not where I would like it to. Where is processed fuel? I definitely brought some of it. There it is. Let's go for a hundred. All of this can stay up here, I suppose. And take the minimum. Let's put combat gear on. Let's grab some rocket fuel. The rocket fuel doesn't count, right? Basically. Uh, let's...
let's put on combat gear. I need that battery. I need a laser. I need... Why don't I put these next to each other? Three jetpacks? Oh, I didn't make the adaptive armor, because we couldn't research it. So I gotta come up here with, uh, let's see, 300, uh, 600, 800, 1800. Twenty one fifty. Let's just call it three thousand military tech cards. And ignore the fact that we have prod bonuses here as well. What's taking damage? Oh, this ag oh, oh, good. I was worried that our walls were keeping the enemy out. So it's not just the purple biters that get in here somehow. These ones aren't going to self-destruct though. I really don't know where they're getting in. Alright, time to go. Um, it's just going to cost a little more rocket fuel, so I should bring back anything that's really going to be useful on Nalvis. I think that... Oh, oh, oh. Buffer chests. I'm glad I didn't forget those. That can stay. Alright. Nalvis, go. Personal robots? They can stay. It's fine. Old Busk. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Whatever happened to never retreat, never surrender? I never said that. Alright, um, we've got our comeback gear on. Oh, that's right, I didn't get the shields. This is like two jetpacks, basically. Oh, I should just wear these three for the moment. Speed is nice. Um, what are we looking for? Defender capsules? Defender capsules? Imagine if I'd gone to Hagen. Um, they're over here. Give me all of them, actually. And then... Oh, flamethrower ammo. That's the thing I didn't want to forget. Probably don't want to waste Tesla just yet. Because it's going to be relevant basically forever. Flamethrower. Let's get some walls as well. And I should probably take... Um, power poles in case I need to repair those. Solar panels. There's so many things. But we don't have time. So you're building smaller compared to last time? Yeah, that's the idea. The Faith, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Krasis, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. They've finished killing things again. Where have they gone? Don't tell me the yellow one's self-destructed. That feels very weird. Well, why would the purple one self-destruct? I mean, the tiny ones, if they're like little spawns, little summons, uh, video game mechanics being what they are, it wouldn't surprise me that much, but... The yellow ones are just fast biters. I didn't bring any robots. How's our power here? It's still okay. I'm frustrated Terraria is making me mad lately? Uh oh. What are you stuck on? 
I was actually just going through the process of making, what is it called, a journey world? So that I could do practice boss fights with no downtime or penalty. Oh yeah, I should probably wear some armor. Could maybe put turrets around the area to try and triangulate where they're coming from? Yeah. Seems good. Uh, let's use this flamethrower. That might be a good idea. I gotta be really, really careful with the uh, regenerative biters. They're so slow, but they hit so very hard that all of your bots just disappear. And it's hard to get in range to use the flamethrower. How am I gonna... Maybe I should just not use the bots at first? That might actually be the way to go. Just do some flybys with flamethrower. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I think we lost all of our bots already. How effective is it really? It's very effective. The only problem is the short range. Yeah, we're one-shotting at least some of the spawners like this. If I could just get the bots to follow me in a way where they don't fling themselves into the waiting claws, that would be very helpful. Let's go put some laser turrets back here where the biters keep somehow managing to find themselves. Oh, that was disconnected? Oh no. Clever girls. And yet this wall is looking pretty good for the most part. Let's put a few lasers here. And see if we catch them in the act at some point. Um, it's really not the regenerative biters I'm worried about. I shouldn't be wasting my time on them right now. Let's go get the purples and the fast ones. Not you. Oh no. Oh no. Um... They may be a little bit short on fuel. And the means to produce it. I may be... underselling the problem. Wait, I've got processed fuel, so why wasn't I flying? What? What was... Oh, uranium. Okay. So I've got a stack of processed fuel. Thank goodness for that. Let's be careful with our one stack, though. What? Am I burning something else? Is it rocket fuel? Because I'm not seeing that processed fuel drop down at all. Um, I should probably scout with the nav set. Yeah, regen biters are... Probably the only biters that I don't find threatening at all as far as the base is concerned. Where are we? Okay. And... 
everything else the bots are pretty good against. Maybe I should use the Teslas against... No, it's fine. could be poison capsules. Uh, yeah, I'll give those a try. I don't normally use them. Once we... Once we've done a few things out here, when I next head back... We are using solid rocket fuel. Okay. That means I've got a lot of fuel right now. For the jetpack. big group is way down south. Quite a few biters, indeed. I wanted to get a rocket launcher as well. Explosive rockets. Normally I don't think explosive rockets are worth it, um, because of the, re uh, the reduction in direct damage and how much splash they don't actually have. But with Rampant, we've got so many biters close to each other all the time. I think they might be the way to go. another base that's about as big of, as this, a bit to the southeast. This is pretty interesting. Is there a mod command for the mods you're using? Uh, yes. Um, I didn't actually quite have time to update the alias a minute ago, uh, but if you type Factorio mods, also, if you scroll down below the video, you can see the mods we're using for Factorio. Oblitrax, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh-oh. Alright, after we get this base, we'll try the poison capsules. And I want to get a explosive rocket launcher, a rocket launcher with explosive rockets as well. Never done much modding for Factorio, so I may give a few of these a go, no worries. Thank you for the follow. Oh my god. Nope, 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 nope. Why are there so many? I just want to finish those last two spawners. Oh my god, they're all coming from the second base. One down. I should use the flamer.
Is that going to do it? Yes, it is. All right. Let's go get some more AoE. That seems like it would be good. When in doubt, nuke it. I don't think we have nukes yet, unfortunately. How does explosive rocket work require stone brick? Oh, electronic circuits, I see. Alright, let's go a bit faster. Poison capsule. Slow down capsule? Poison capsule. Electronic circuit, coal and steel plate. Okay. It's pretty easy. We can... In fact, before I even get there, we can arrange for that. Oh my god, we're still making this? Uh, okay. How about... How about you stop? Um, poison capsule? What do they stack to? A hundred? And... Do we not have coal in here? It's on its way. The other thing I wanted was a rocket launcher. That's easy. Uh, explosives plus rockets plus... Well, explosives plus EC plus iron plate. I don't think we've got explosives in... No, we have cliff explosives somewhere, don't we? Fully automated now? Yeah, we do. And we don't have we don't have explosives thrown straight into the robot network just yet there we go um if we go for rocket uh one stack of that plus one stack of that Typically what happens with these prerequisites is the any signal will pick the thing that is the prerequisite first. If we're lucky. Do these things have any kills yet? Where are they? Kills two. One, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. Cool. Media defense is working. Fantastic. I don't want to abandon Nalvis. I'd like to keep our bases active. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, what else was I coming here for? We need a rocket launcher. We still need a rocket launcher. Do we not have... I mean, there's a lot of different stuff that's on the way right now. I could pick up some of it from right here. There we go. And I think I'll put away the cryo gun. And the Tesla gun for now. Carry the rail gun just in case. Maybe I should carry the Tesla gun just in case. It's not going to destroy our own stuff, and it's a great panic weapon. Actually, let me just put this straight in here. Alright. And we need rockets. Did I not order rockets? 
Oh, the autocrafter is resupplying all the stuff I'm asking for. Okay. Let's turn these off for the moment. There we go. Rocket. You know, I should probably have an inserter putting whatever's in this chest straight in here, because sometimes that's going to be relevant. Why did it switch? I should also request some explosive rockets. And some flamethrower ammo. Why did this stop? Oh. That's weird. Explosive rocket is coming before... No, it is outputting... Wait, what? What is it doing? Red wire from here to here. It changed to explosives? How? Let me just confirm something real quick. Delete that. No, that's right. We're just looking at the output from the anything decider on the red wire here. Why on earth is it trying to... Oh, I think I know what it is. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know what it is. Um, we can fix this. Let's move this down here. Can I not rotate this? With picker dollies? I think picker dollies doesn't recognize the recipe combinator as a long combinator that needs to be rotated. Um, but what I'm going to change... Actually, why don't we do it this way? I'm going to put this here. We're going to add a decider coming out of the RoboPort. It's going to say each greater than zero. We don't want negatives when bots are picking things up. And then the same negative signal goes here. And then this one is just going to be like that. All right, cut. What just happened? Oh, it did that thing again. I'm trying to put stuff in my inventory. Paste. Fantastic. And it should no longer try to set recipe to explosives on this thing. We're missing a wire. There we go. I'm getting the craft crafting combinator mod next time I play. Yeah, it's pretty good. Guy clicking. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What if you add another assembler to the right? Will it craft two times as fast? Uh, yeah, kind of. I've got versions of this with more assemblers. Uh, like up to... That's a space version. Uh, up to six or twelve of them, I think. Yeah, here we go. So we need three combinators for each additional um, assembler. Because we're not just duplicating whatever recipe is being picked by the first one. Uh, 
we're getting the first six uh, signals that come through here. Let me get some power. So the list of stuff includes uh, the chests, which the anything signal arbitrarily, uh, arbitrarily picks this one first, and then we subtract this from the list and pass the rest on, basically. Uh, so each of these selects one recipe. Is that a mod that allows you to plan blueprints? Uh, this area, this is editor extensions. Um, you can use it to make a, uh, a save that will... There's like a, there's a new game uh, scenario that's like a sandbox that gives you everything and super bots and stuff to make it a bit easier. But uh, if you want to use it during a regular playthrough without cheating, uh, go to mod settings per player and it's the last setting under editor extensions. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Testing lab. Uh, automatically teleport to a testing lab when entering the map editor, then back out when you leave it. This allows you to easily test setups in isolated space while keeping your actual factory pristine. Uh, and as it tells you here, you might want to turn off this other setting if you don't want to use it to cheat. You don't want to take items back from there. How many rockets have we made? 22? We need to turn them into explosive rockets as well. Also, uh, I might, while I'm there, crafting combinator. Where is it? Crafting combinator. Crafting Combinator refresh rate, how many ticks there will be between updates, uh, one second. Let's go for 10 seconds. So we have some built-in, uh, we don't need to add circuitry to make it stick to a recipe for a bit longer. That is so cool, right? Alright, what are we doing next? Um, poison capsules. Did we make them? We made th three. That is less than I would like to see. Can we just cheese it like this? I think we probably can. Although we're not requesting coal here at the moment. Where are my speed modules? Oh, I think they're upstairs. And we're not trying to craft them right now. I'm just gonna throw this together shamelessly. I want at least a hundred before we take them for a test drive. about what's going on up here. No ninja biters detected. I don't see the fast biters attacking, question mark. Nope, nothing right now. Maybe we really can secure things if we just push them back far enough. We do have to push them quite far back, but still. All 
Alright, we have, what, 12 plus 7. So, regular rockets deal 300 explosion damage. And... Explosive rockets deal 200. The AoE is... Normally I would expect to see AoE on the regular rocket. Did they change it? Or are we missing some upgrades or something? 75 explosion plus 200. Oh, the splash is 200 damage. We're only losing like 25 damage here. It may be different from what I've seen in another playthrough. Or it may be because we don't have damage upgrades yet. Um... But right now, explosive rockets are winning by a lot. And all it costs is a couple more explosives. It's just a little bit less damage directly. Alright. We need, like, two or three thousand military science packs. Uh, tech cards, that is. We've got 9.6k here. We've already filled our cargo rocket with this stuff. Should I just make another one? I could. It would be... Why not? I'm pretty sure we've got one of those lying around somewhere. I think. Or was that the cargo landing pad? Cargo rocket silo. It's rather expensive. A thousand concrete, a thousand steel, ten radars. Ten radars sounds familiar. Yeah, this is where we were automating this. I didn't actually have an output for it. Here it is. So we're going to put some logic on these. Uh, cargo fit section. I guess I should make this a filter, just to be sure. Space capsule. Is that a ruined space capsule? Oh yeah, I remember how we can make those. Cargo rocket section less than 100. Uh, space capsule less than 1. And then we just need fuel, which we can borrow from this one. Quite. I was going to say quite easily, but I've complicated things slightly. Hmm. Oh, we can do it from here. Easy. And that actually has enough for like four launches almost. Alright. Um, we're going to put our military tech cards in there. And that isn't even the beginning of filling this thing up. Should we take more regular science packs? Uh, data cards, that is. I should definitely put these buffer chests in the robot network. Get this out of my inventory for the moment. You know what? Just all of it. And whatever tech cards we've already accumulated. 
Why don't we grab a set from all of the others as well? Nine thousand six hundred times one point one eight because of our prod bonus. I think that'll keep our science going for more than the time that it takes to get stuck needing a new type of science. And we're still only halfway full. What else should I send into space? Ludicrous amounts of rocket fuel? Lots of cargo rocket sections? We could easily fill up a lot of cargo space with cargo rocket sections. Things to make space scaffold? Oh yeah, we can't make it on the ground, can we? Scaffold. Uh, what? Did we not research it? I think we didn't research it yet. One steel, one heat shielding, one LDS. Okay. Um, we've already got those things, but it definitely wouldn't hurt to have more. So let's go this much LDS. 3,000 exactly. 3,000 heat shield. And... Should we go 3,000 steel? Where have I put steel? Here it is. That is 4,800. Although I am sort of forgetting we're going to lose a little bit of this. I think we lose it all in equal rash, uh, ratios though, right? We've still got 407 inventory slots. The last thing I'm going to do is fill the rest with cargo rocket sections. But what else should we maybe take? that we haven't already. I can't really th think of anything. Stuff for building outposts? Should probably start taking outpost stuff. Or maybe that should be the next rocket. Black's Panda Rudaxi. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cargo rocket sections can be packed in five. I forgot about that. Thank you. Uh, can we... Do this here? Packing cargo rocket sections. Fantastic. And... I don't know how many we're going to put. In fact, I'm just going to leave that as undefined for the moment. Unless and until I've decided there's nothing else we need to take up. And away you go is another satellite. Alright, how's our military stuff? 15 plus 21. Oh, we didn't get coal here, did we? Okay. Why is that not powered? Probably because I broke it. Let's 
Let's go grab some coal real quick. Do we not? I don't think we have coal in a chest. Wait, surely we have it somewhere, otherwise... Oh. Okay. Um, let's add... Is this going to be in the Robo Network? It's not. Let's add it down here, I guess. Can I not get a Fred one? There we go. space. Whoops. Coal greater than... I don't know. A thousand. And we can put it on the bus. And I don't think this is actually requesting coal at the moment either. It, only, it takes ten coal for one poison capsule. Kind of a lot. We still haven't made any explosive rockets. How many regular rockets are we on? 153, that's actually pretty good. How long does it take to craft? 8 seconds and another 8 seconds, ouch. Maybe we'll skip the explosives while we try out the poison capsule. Hey, Dardano. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why is this on fire? Oh. Okay. How many poison capsules do we have? 26 plus 20... We have some relatively close biters we could try that on. I think so. While we wait for the explosives as well. Let's do that. I do also want to take all that stuff I shoved in a chest. Especially the defender capsules. Focus on the capsules on the worms and try to kill them off in the first pass. Never ask why things are on fire, just live with it. Indeed. They don't do much against the nests. Oh. Well, it's really only the nests that I would use these for. Where is enemy. Here we go. Let's get some shields up. I'll try it without the bots so that we can see the difference. Actually, here's a good... How long does it last? Okay, that's pretty good, actually. What's the range? Decent. It takes a while, but... Is it going to kill him? No, it's going to take two, but that's okay. Well, it's going to take two for the small ones. But if it removes all the worms, um, that's actually removing most of the hit points that we need to chew through before we can 
get the nests as well. And if we can drag the biters through it... No, that doesn't do much to the biters at all. It really is just for the worms, isn't it? Are they somehow more susceptible to it? Alright, let's get our bots out. The bots can't get hurt by the po uh, poison capsules, right? That's a nice synergy. does soften them up. That's about what it's good for. Maybe it'll be... Maybe it'll work well in tandem with the rocket launcher, actually. I should probably use another one here. Does it hurt me? I think so. Okay. Do biters have different resistances depending on their color? Yes. The regenerative biters are extremely uh, vulnerable to fire, but otherwise they're very, very tough. I don't remember what it said about their poison resistance. This is pretty good in combination with the tactic of flying around in circles around the base anyway. Last one was probably unnecessary. Oh, hello. We should be nearing... we should be around... oh no. Oh no. Okay, this time I can make fuel. It's fine. Wait, what? I do have fuel. How am I taking off? Oh, I have 68. Okay, never mind. I think I just fell out of the sky and tried to launch again too quickly. It used to let you spam it. I probably shouldn't fly around with only 68 fuel, though. It's a pretty unique damage type, yeah. It gives us some good reach. Let's have a look at the... 
regenerative biters. Uh, resistance. Explosion, fire, physical. Nothing about poison. So I guess that means no extra resistance against poison. Let's go... Hopefully we have some explosive rockets by now. I was going to say we should be around the 200 mark for the regular rockets, at which point it would flip. We have... 100... We have two whole explosive rockets. Really? We had like 100... Oh, a bunch of them got requested here. 101. All right. But why are we making more regular rockets? I guess if it... Oh, I changed... I made it flip every 10 seconds, not every 30 seconds, didn't I? Okay, then. Um, I would like to add... Just arbitrarily... Always be bringing some coal over here. Because we've got these dodgy poison capsule setups. Capsule. Poison capsule less than 200. Seems good. We're bottlenecked on resources, that machine does nothing. And I'll go grab some coal myself. That's a lot, actually. I need some more speed modules in these things, though. Or this one thing. Can I make a couple of speed twos? Fantastic. We are very slowly filling that chest full of biomatter. Oh, that's another 30 poison capsules. I want to play with the explosive rockets. Oh, the bots helpfully delivered some. All two of them. Could I maybe squeeze in... No, I could not. Why don't we... put this down here. And then... Once this is done... Moncraft, jo Moncraft Jones, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Explosive rockets. What's going on here? Oh. Okay. I think I have an idea where they're getting through? Question mark? But I thought we had this covered. It looks like we do have it covered. I mean, now this is broken, so we don't. There's flames, though. If they're getting through here, they should get shot at, which means they should go for these turrets. Same thing applies down here. There's no way we missed a nest, is there? I suppose it could happen, but I don't think it did happen. Oh, <gasps> you're joking. No. Oh, no. I remember reminding, uh, probably being reminded to hit that, or was it way down here? It doesn't explain where the yellow biters got through there before. Maybe that was this one. All right, we got to get up there and fix it. Let's get some triple jetpack. And 
and I should probably hit the nest first. Just mark that so I can easily find it again. Well, that explains the sneaky biters. The size of the nest means that it took much longer for them to build up ready to attack. I don't understand why they just died, though, without getting shot earlier. Unless they, like, passed from hit points to make these little guys that then have finite lifespans. Okay. Oh, that wall looks bad. Looks like we got here not quite just in time. We need some repair bots. I don't have any, do I? Oh, I do. Fantastic. Uh, Roboport. Jetpack fuel? Oh, that's bad. We do have the means to make some, though. We've also got... Not... Z uh, not... Solid rocket fuel, actually. That's a lie. Need to hurry up and fix all this. Is the jetpack as cool as it seems? Yes, it definitely is. Static Grazer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that the end of the damage? Except for wherever the power is broken. Way over here. And they're attacking again. Ugh, rude. They seem to know the importance of power poles. I remember... what was it called? Misanthrope mod? Seemed to be very good at that as well. It was quite deliberate about it. But yeah, they'll they'll attack anything. They'll attack rails. They'll attack power poles. They won't just ignore the artosis pylon that we have over here, or this one for that matter. But I don't think they were coming through those gaps that I was trying to figure out for. We're down to five fuel. Not fantastic, but we can fix it. Why are our bots not repairing this? Are we out of bots or repair packs? Did we lose? We left all of our bots back here. Okay. Uh, I think I'll have a peek somewhere else while we wait. Explosive rockets, we've got another one. Amazing. I forgot to put another... Uh, inserter there. Let's go for 400. And then this one is set correctly. Seems good. I'm surprised we've got a long string of bots here, not a cluster of them. Okay, what about... 
our rockets. So we're sending this to orbit. So that we can do science and make scaffolding. How much scaffolding are we going to get out of this? Uh, 50... It's, it's 1, 1, and 2, right? Let's look at the research. Oh, it's 1 steel. Yeah, it's half as many stacks of steel. Um, so we're going to get 3k scaffolding. That's not that much. We definitely have to ration it and not, like, fill out an entire rail block. And we can't spam solar panels yet. I think I will... I want to fill the rest of this with cargo rocket sections, but I feel like I'm going to remember something else. Then again, I can just shove it in my own inventory. Uh, we got 107 slots available. We're not going to fill that up immediately. Bots are still crawling back. Get in my inventory. Thank you. Fantastic. Let's do some more walls here since they're always getting chewed away at. And I th think... I don't want to say it again, but I think we're finally secure up here. Hello. Let's see what a difference this makes. Not a whole lot, to be honest, because they run into the fire after losing a little bit of health. But if they're summoning the little dudes, then maybe they die immediately. Where are these biters coming from? Over here, I guess. We've got six, uh, lots of defenders, 67 poison capsules. I can probably go ahead and attack this while I'm here. Capsules stack if I'm right, so 10 by capsule is 10 by damage? Oh, really? Interesting. Uh, I don't need a robot pot for combat. Okay. I don't want to waste any... I don't want to use up two explosive rockets at a time. That's uh, not what I'm aiming to do. Let's get the rest of these fast biters, and I'll swing to the right to hit the purples. Oh. Yeah, that fuel thing that I mentioned. Alright, let's do something about that. Fuel processor. How many of these have I handcrafted now? Can we maybe... Oh, can I burn this? Fuel value, 2 megajoules. I hope so. That would be... Oh, that would change the game, honestly, with worrying about my fuel reserves. Uh, I'd better worry about more than my fuel reserves, actually. This reminds me of a not-so-secret voice line from a serious Sam game where he says I hate running backwards. Alright, rip fuel processor. They're trying to attack my strategy. 
or tactic. Let's try this again. Fuel processor? Biomatter? Oh, hell yes. Oh, yes. So wherever there's biomatter, we can get fuel to go home. As long as we can make or carry a fuel processor. Flying on Bidish? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, that's kind of like a flex, I guess. We can't just fly directly on the biomass, right? No. That would be weird. We should probably go a bit faster than this. Xenox? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let's grab some more. Fantastic. Alright, so how much is this? Like, not even one stack? Or, no, one stack is a hundred, isn't it? Yeah, let's go. 117. Nice. Forage of the enemy. Uh, where is this happening? Not again. Wait. But we got rid of... Maybe they were still pathing to it. I hope that's what that was. This is a very large nest. Oh god. Oh no. Nope. Nope. Oh, there's radiation there. I gotta watch out for that. That's why I was falling out of the sky. effective actually. You can point to Geneva's on Nalvis? Geneva Geneva on Nalvis. Or oh, can you point to Geneva? I don't understand the question. put this on a key that I can reach. War crimes, indeed. Oh, Geneva. Oh, right. <laughs> so that's how that's spelt. Unless that's not how that's spelt. How am I going to get the biters protected by uranium? That's not fair. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, I think that is going to make it a bit easier up here. Drop a nuke on them, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. They'll be sending nukes back at us pretty soon. Well, I don't know how soon exactly. But I don't think we're clearing Nalvis before nuke fighters show up. Ten pole is a lot for one shot of this, but it's actually pretty decent value if you get value out of it. If you use it in the right spot. Oh, hello. We're clearing these... I, okay, that wasn't the biggest nest, but I feel like we're clearing them significantly faster. And that's the last capsule. As soon as I clear this nest, we'll go back. Here we go. Nothing like making some pollution to calm them down. Nuke biters? Oh yeah. Uh, if they get close enough... Well, whether they get close enough or not, you're gonna see the screen flash white when they die. I don't want to take the time to kill that base right now. Not when we're so low on fuel. Let's just take all the biomatter. Wait, so we can grow biomatter out of what was it? It was something infinite, I think. And we can turn it into fuel. I have a feeling that's not going to be the most efficient way to get fuel. Why does... wait, uh, even distro, you're doing me wrong. No wonder it didn't use this all up earlier. I say it's doing me wrong, it really just means I don't have time to change the settings right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, fuel limit? Can I turn this off? So... What? Oh, the fuel limit is zero. Can I not disable it? I guess this will do it. Nothing like burning vita matter in their front yard. Yeah. 
that that's how you say hello to the neighbors. Invite them over for barbecue. How could they possibly object? That should be a lot of fuel, I imagine. Energy solutions for Hagen? Hog? So how are we making the biomass here? It's incredibly slow, I remember. It is oxygen plus petroleum. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to be the most... Uh, efficient way to make processed fuel. What's Biter Evolution at? How do I check again? Uh, 0.8561. Doesn't that mean we're getting close to big biters? Oh, 400. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be enough processed fuel to get home, I imagine. Most efficient renewable way for processed fuel is wood. That would make sense. But we have to put power into... Like, it's, it's not going to be how we power our base. Did we repair all this? Is it still repaired? I remember this still got attacked. But, oh, hello. A yellow one. We do have Biter Expansion off. And we seem to have cleared everything back here. There was a small nest. That's oil. That is not yellow biters. Oh. Wait, no way. There's a land bridge here that I forgot to seal. And and you're telling me that sometimes yellow biters walk all the way up here? I guess it's not that much further than if they went this way. That is kind of strange. Then again, I also run Bio Industries, and that puts a heck of a lot more wood and wood products out. You get a net positive of power, really. That's kind of interesting. There was a small biter base near those two worms of the islands. You don't mean this one. Like, that's... That doesn't have a path. Did, did you mean somewhere close to that? That's crude oil. That's crude oil. That's crude oil. All I see looking for the yellow nest is crude oil. Look on the mainland to the south. Crude oil, crude oil. Like, I know this isn't sealed, that's what I was referring to. Crude oil. It's on the coast. It's on... Post. Oh, oh. Are they are they stuck? I think they're stuck. But they're um, regenerative biters. We haven't seen and hello. All right, we found some more purples. I could have sworn I turned biter expansion off. Is this was this always here? I know I turned Biter Expansion off, it, it would be pretty obvious if I didn't. I think, 
I think we just have such small nests and the multicolor. Like, like, alien biomes plus all of these different colors of biters is not helping us find them. Um, it was up here, actually. Good catch. I don't think we need our defender capsules for this. I mean, I would hope not. I could be wrong. What are these little floaters that they send out at us? Can we get the spawner? There we go. Do not underestimate the tiny ones. Well, that was a lot more damage that we had to put out than expected. These guys are definitely stuck. We still don't know where the yellows came from, unless a very few walk all the way from down here for some reason. Looks like they've mastered the art of dependence, right? Uh, I have everything I need to make a little defensive wall. So let's do that. It's quite the tight bottleneck, so I'm hoping just lasers will be enough. Is this a land bridge? No, I don't think it is. I should probably check. No, it there would be sand. It just looks like it on the map, kind of. Something's taking damage. That's just that wall that always gets bullied. Okay. They can't get across this, can they? Nope. Let's get our bots into the picture. Oh. Oh, we've got this cliff right here as well. That's even better. Wow. Okay. I assume some of the biters could squeeze through here, but not very quickly. And the range that we have on the laser turret, oh, that is, this is exquisite. This is like first level of a tower defense game kind of layout. Yeah, I think we'll be able to defend this with just lasers, probably. Let's give it some walls as well to block shots. We will, of course, have to repair them at some point. But yeah, it doesn't get much better than this, honestly. Look at it. It's like a... Like a commander's wet dream. Alright, let's get our definitely not vulnerable power poles dragged up this way. And connecting with the main power network somewhere or other. Looks like a single yellow spawner hidden under the trees next to the yellow worms zoomed into you zoomed into before. Hidden behind those trees would make sense. How am I gonna get through here? Up this way. I still haven't gotten around to mineral water. 
spiders have taken up more time than I expected, all things considered. I did switch off... That reach is fantastic. I did switch off expansion, which obviously makes it a lot easier. But just how aggressive they are with rampant and not needing pollution to aggro uh, is kind of a big deal. So there was a yellow nest hidden under a tree somewhere. Is this... Look at that. I'm going to pick a dolly it out. Sneaky. And away he goes. Well then. Literally one spawner. But we had a group of them... So it's sending one at, a, one at a time right now, but earlier they grouped up. Interesting. Alright, uh, I've actually gone a, more than a bit over time for today, so we'll continue this tomorrow. And I definitely won't forget to go get that yellow nest. Uh, let's give that a save, and see who we're raiding today. We got Mucky, Sushi Cat, what is this? Uh, Andy? Oh, S-E-K-2, perfect. Alright, let's drop in on Andy today. Probably give him a heart attack, be nice. You might want to make it on the map before saving? Make it on the map? What do you mean? What, like put it, put the screen here and then save? Or, I, I could do this, save. I'm not going to mistake that. Market. Oh, I see. Just do a tag, yeah. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're interested in that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And stay safe. See you tomorrow. Kellogg's, thanks for hanging out. Take care. And away we go. Hi! <laughs> T-Hacks with the 180 people raid! What's up everyone? How's it going? Uh...